Hey Penny. How you doing, dude? Hey Testy, you can see. Uh that should be all good. Um I am using my new controller today. Testy! Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm using my new controller today, so it's today, so I shouldn't have any drift. However, uh, oh, that song ended. There we go. Um, oh, new sh yeah, new shiny controller, all black as well. Um, <clears throat> sadly, I haven't heard back about whether I can get my other controller fixed yet uh, from the retailer I got it from. They haven't replied. I've sent DMs to their like help account, their support, like te uh, their, their customer support account on Twitter, and I sent a um, support ticket. Haven't heard anything. <sighs> and then I found out today that my copy of Bloodborne was missing, so I had to buy another one. And then last night, my iPad decided to just die and not turn back on, even though it was on charge and plugged in. I've been having issues with my iPad for ages. <clears throat> so, I've been kind of expecting it to die, but I was just hoping it wouldn't. Um, I think it's getting to the end of its life, and I can't afford a new one. So that's fun. Um, however. Ouch, right? Yeah, rough turn events, yeah. Yeah. Um, however, I have a... I thought of another <laughs> a drawing I want to do. <clears throat> I, was watching, I was watching PJ's stream earlier, and he was making his own version of Kabi. As in Kirby that sucked up a car. And I was kind of thinking. I want to draw a really creepy version of Kirby. <laughs> like really creepy. Like a drool and maybe bits of teeth. And almost like not body horror. But body horror-esque. <laughs> like more monster Kirby. Rather than... You know, just for the whole juxtaposition where you take this cute character and, oh, he's eating a car, ha ha, all fun. And then this is really creepy, horrible version, just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> Sounds very mad. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I'm tempted to maybe do it on stream. Um, update on drawing things. I've been working on um, your, your, your landscape, your forest scene. Um... <laughs> I made a surprising amount of uh, progress the other night when I didn't mean to. I, I thought I was just going to go on and play play around a little bit and just see what I could do. And I made a lot of progress. Um, so that's... It's not nearly done, but definitely on the way. Um, since when did chat show, show up on screen? Uh, about a week ago. <laughs> about a week ago. Uh, it's so exciting. Yeah, I've, I've kind of... <clears throat> So I've tried to, like, um, copy the exact photo, but it's a little bit different. Um, you know how in Horizon Zero Dawn, how some of the real-life places has some kind of... They look a little bit different. Some of the landscapes are a little bit everywhere, but you can still uh, recognize the area. I think, like, you know, how it's done like been done like that. How it's... There's not machines or anything. Don't worry about that. But um, just... Just that kind of overgrown style I've, I've, I'm currently going for. <laughs> I'm only just realizing it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, to be fair, I haven't streamed since last... Was it Wednesday? I think. Wednesday-ish. I'm so excited to see it. Don't get your hopes too high, just in case it goes wrong. <laughs> Sometimes I have an idea for a thing and I start making it. And then I'm like, yeah. Yeah, this is, I like this idea. And then it gets to the end and I'm like, uh, e <laughs> I could have done better. <laughs> um, Wednesday indeed, a great end to a story. Yeah, um, great end to a story. We have a, a slightly new but shorter story to carry on with today. Oh, and I'm also thinking of including like um, in the forest scene. You know how you have like the little... Um, fairies and zelda where it's just like a ball of light with wings maybe include including some of those maybe we'll see i'll see if it fits i'll see if it looks right if it look just looks off then i won't but we'll see <coughs> um so before i do a quick recap 
Um, I might... My, my one year streaming anniversary is coming up. I think we decided it was going to be on Wednesday. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to come on on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I'm just a bit busy. I'm not sure. I might be able to come on Wednesday. Unlikely for Thursday. I have a long dentist appointment on Thursday. So. Um, yeah, unlikely for Thursday. Right, let me find a song because this sounds a bit like it's going to go crazy. Um... Alright, sure. <clears throat> um, so, recap. I you know, hope, hope the dentist goes okay. One of my least favourite things to do. It used to be one of my least favourite things. And now I'm kind of like okay with it. Um, yeah, now I'm just kind of... I'm pretty chill with it these days, so... It's cool. Um, I've just had like a bit of a tooth like chip. And it's a bit annoying. So, I have to go de get that dealt with. <laughs> Um, so quick recap. <laughs> we finished the main story. <laughs> um, we returned to Meridian. And the Eclipse and Hades came to basically raid it and attack it. Uh, Hades wanted to get to the Spire. <clears throat> there are these Spires all over the, the map. Uh, well, I say all over. There's a, I think there's a few. I think the main one is in Meridian. Um... And those spires were used for Gaia to send out the kill code for the swarm, the the the, the evil robot things <laughs> that want to destroy all life. Um, however, Hades wanted to use the spire to wake up all of the machines, so that was Hades' goal to get to the spire. And uh, we we held the mech and we defeated Hades, and the credits rolled. However, after the credits, we saw that Silence was off somewhere in a deserty kind of area and he had some kind of cylinder that he managed to extract Hades with and trap it inside and he was he was like hello remember me I have more questions etc um, and then the camera zoomed out and we see a big shot of a metal devil and <laughs> metal devil being the big tentacly things that we haven't fought because they haven't come alive um, and seen However, I'm going to do a bit of a rewind because I can't remember where this DLC takes place, whether it's before the ending or after the ending. I think it takes place before, but we'll find out. It might actually take place afterwards, so we will see. <laughs> this DLC is called The Frozen Wilds. Um, <coughs> and it's meant to take place in, um, in like, national parks. Um, I can't remember exactly. Is it? I can't remember exactly what the, which national parks, but real life natural, national park. It's meant to take place in a big national park, basically. Um, and it's all frozen over and there's snow and all sorts of things like that. And this is where the Banuk tribes, um, tribes, tribe kind of live. And <clears throat> the Banuk tribe are actually like at peace with the machines. Um... Oh, and show and tell. Wait, show and tell. Oh, my phone's over there. Hold on. Oh, look at him. <laughs> is Emity is pretty big? That is my bet. I want to say, is Yellowstone one? I want to say I remember that being said, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Maybe we'll find out. Hey, maybe you'll recognize something. I don't know. Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it could be. I, I want to say it's that, but I can't remember exactly because, because memory and time. Um, so yeah, this is where the Banuk tribe is, um, and there is, uh, another fragment of Gaia waiting there. Um, Gaia, of course, is still broken, but... Um, right, uh, let's start. And I'll grab my phone and show and tell. To have a look at show and tell. Actually, I could just wait. What am I doing? I don't think my phone. I can just, just open it on my on my computer, <laughs> on my PC. What am I doing, Matt? <laughs> uh, okay, let me uh, start this up whilst I open that. And let's go over. Oh, the uh, the Lego um, tall neck. Yeah, I we I was talking about this last stream, Penny, with uh, with Toasty. 
I I I was very tempted to get it, um, the Lego one because it's a it's like a really nice display piece. I was very and there's a little watcher and a little Aloy as well. Yeah, we were talking about that last um, last stream. It is very nice indeed. <laughs> I do very much like it. Um, if I had space and money, I would. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> Legit, I, I'm very lucky I got my Kong and Godzilla f up on the shelf. Little Aloy is a fun little addition. Yeah, I like, man, it's just a cool, I really like it. <laughs> um, I actually, speaking of Horizon, I know we're playing it, but I um, saw a picture on Twitter earlier and I retweeted it because it was from the sequel and it's just like a really close look at the face, but goddamn. Um, so here we are. We also unlocked a face paint. The Nora Seeker face paint. Would you like a closer look at the face paint? Let me get into the... Into some light. Would you like a closer look? Uh, field of view? Nope. Do -do 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 that might be too close. Let's find out. There you go. That's the... Uh, the Nora Seeker face paint. Um, and it's got these... Uh, she got a smiley one? She hasn't got a smile. <laughs> She's just pissed. <laughs> um, I forgot we did that. It looks great. Yeah, I, I, I like the uh, I like the blue under the eyes, and then the sort of asymmetrical design. So last time we travelled here. This is the Grave Horde, and the uh, the Frozen Wilds is up here uh, on the map. In case you're curious, it is over th over here. So Meridian is all the way down hither. Um, so yeah, we are going to go up to... Oh, what's that? A moment's peace. Search for the Banuk. Should we do that first? As it's related to the Banuk. A Banuk tribe. <clears throat> Shall we do that first as it's right here? I think we should. I think we should, you know. I was going to jump straight into the DLC, but you know what? Something Banuk related... Man, you know what? I'm not sure if you know, but on the PS5 controllers, the kind of um, grippy texture on the back is lots of little like X and circle, square and triangles. It's like a little pattern. <coughs> and I can tell my sort of um, texture has worn down on my original controller because this feels much more textured. I can feel the little, the little bits basically. Um, and my other controller feels like quite smooth compared to this. <laughs> uh, why am I? Why am I running? I'm going to whistle in three, two, one. Hello? Hello? Oh, here it is. Somewhere. There it is. <laughs> uh, let's just go see what this... Um... Come on, let's go. Let's just go see what this side mission is all about. As it is related to the menu. And that might be a nice little introduction. Uh, uh, Mount, what are you doing? I, I'm tapping sprint. Run! <laughs> what? No, move. You don't have to walk quite this slow. There you go. There you go. Oh, Christ. Okay. Jesus, that was intense. I dropped it. Uh, mount, what are you doing? Listen, it doesn't want to roll down the mountain. I am its master. It will do as I say. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Smacky smooth. Um... Clearly, that is not the case. It does what it wants. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That was all I had in my head. Um. Ah! It's fine.
Oops, oops, oops. There's it, there we go. Ah, uh, mount. Oh, pretty light. So what happened to the other mercenaries you sent? The machines are docile. It's like they haven't been overridden. Ah, interesting. They have some friendly machines here. Friendly machines, huh? This person is working on this machine. The last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow. None will be going hungry. And this is Hello. a Banuk tribe. Interesting. The last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow, and none will be going hungry. Interesting. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts. My song will <laughs> echo for a hundred more. Oh, that is right. These people like machines. Yeah, they like the machines. They're um, they're friendly with the machines, or can be friendly. I'm not entirely sure. Do I have to look for something here? I, I, I was not paying attention. To what I have to do? Do I have to speak to someone? Um, this is the tribe I will be a part of. <laughs> Can I speak to? Is his name TikTok? Oh, Tikuk. I am Tikuk. This TikTok. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be before they grew angry. I, I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing and we listen to the machine songs. Oh, they have the weird blue lines like silence. They do indeed. They do. I might actually just turn this a little bit. They do have this weird machine, uh, the weird machine, the weird um, blue lines. <laughs> <clears throat> Teacook, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We are not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it mm. thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? Oh, I forgot to ask. How are you guys doing? <laughs> How was your weekend? <laughs> Sorry, I completely forgot to ask. Or I asked and forgot. Either way, I hope you're both doing okay. What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping <coughs> off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Mm. <laughs> Rude leaves. <laughs> no, no, please come back. <laughs> Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So God, I... the Banuk that are doing this. 
There's something about this place. I still see his name as TikTok. <laughs> Maybe my focus can. Hello. I'm incredibly burnt out and working on solutions, but I will figure it out. Oh man. Uh burnt burnout is not fun. Uh my best advice is to take take much needed rest. Definitely rest. It helps and then you eventually like see things you like and that gives you the the motivation to go and do things again. Um, so it's the place that's making them docile, not the Banuk. This guy's voice is nice, very calm. Glad you like it. Supply crate. Uh, so it's the place that's making them docile. So I wonder. I wish you were like um. Aha. There. Keep your scale sharp. And the source is at the top of the mountain. Uh, there we are. Damn, all these steps look exhausting. <laughs> My worst enemy. Stairs. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Ooh. Skill melts like ice. We should get back out and okay. track the herd if we want to maintain our reputations. I wonder if it's something from Gaia. Maybe. I do not remember. Um, so when I say maybe, <laughs> it could legit maybe. <laughs> I can't remember. I want to say... Ooh, I'm not sure. I want to say as this is a side mission, probably not. But maybe. Looks a little Hard to believe the Banuk live further north. Hard to believe they live further north. Well, that's where we'll be going after this. <coughs> see more Banuk tribe and see where they live. Uh, up or left? Oops, I want to see back to the sacred land. Don't miss it. Oh. Uh. Ah! Jesus, Aloy. I thought you were going to jump automatically then. Interesting. Someone's been up here recently. Was that voices? Ah, uh, let's do a quick save. Um. You can't just leave us here. Uh huh. Did Logan send you? I guess sure it's Ken. Never mind that. Nora, girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here, uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. Jesus, his we eyes. We to stop them digging it out. <laughs> Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. Like Excuse me, Glinthogs, do you mind? I'm trying to have a conversation. <laughs> well, that's a fair appraisal. <laughs> Where's that sound? It was the Glinthogs over here uh, being loud. Well, this is what they look like. You can see on their mouths they have like a saw in the middle. Or, yeah, kind of like a saw. They have a lot to say, yeah, they don't shut up, do they? Okay, let's... So we have to go up here and deal with some people? That's what I got from that. I was very distracted from the, from the Glintorg sounds. Oh. What have you done? Oops. Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <coughs> Let me look at it. 
Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. Okay. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. It does look a bit like a Hades, doesn't it? Like, you know, the ball that Hades was. Because Hades was just like a big round ball. It does look a bit like that, doesn't it? Uh, Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. <coughs> this is from Gaia Prime. Some part of her was still functioning. Hmm? Until now. Uh... I have to get back to the camp. Before the machines tear it apart. Processor of advanced design severely damaged. Corrupted code fragment detected approximately 20 years old. Catastrophic malfunction. The signal uh, until response. So it is Gaia. It is. Ah. So this is where it landed. So when Gaia Prime exploded within the mountain. This part of Gaia came all the way from. Wait, where is it on the map? Uh, it's like all the way over here, isn't it? Is it? Is it up here? Gaia Prime. It exploded here, and then it came all the way over here and landed over here. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. God damn. So yeah, this is maybe a part of Gaia Prime, or it is Gaia. I'm not sure. But you are correct. Well done, Toasty. Well done. I had completely forgotten. <coughs> oh, Glyn talks are gone. Oh, they're, they're attacking. Well, better get down there. No, they've already started attacking. Yeah. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunters, um, the camp. do what you must. Balls. Don't trust that thunder jaw. Well, I'm not sure if it's already down or not, actually. One. Ah! My mount! Wait, no, my mount isn't. Uh, is my mount evil? I'm not sure. No, I think it's fine. <laughs> I think my mount's good. I say evil. Uh, well, it could help out though. Now you'll hear my song. Wait for it. A Wait for it. Oh. Oh. Balls. Balls. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's grab. Nope. Give me your, give me your gun. I'm not sure where it is. The ah. hunt is back. Where's this machine? There's his gun. Should give me the upper hand. Ah. Okay. Could you imagine actually jumping off and relying on a tree like that? I know, right? <clears throat> relying on some crappy old tree branch. Whew. Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. I'm already not good with heights. They just make me feel a bit, ooh, queasy. Um, like my friend owns this parkour gym. Um, where people go and like practice parkour and stuff and he has this part that you can climb up on top of I got on top of it and it's not even that big and uh, it's got quite a few bits you can climb on top of but what, one of the smaller ones which is like chest height climbed, I climbed on top of that before and I was like oh, oh I feel sick no no I'm coming down <laughs> this is not for me I am meant to, to stay on ground level <laughs> no 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 I'm, I'm good thank you I'm gonna just I'm just, just gonna get down now 
Uh, we have to speak, uh, speak to TikTok. Let me just... There we go. Alright, TikTok. I can only see all the ways I would fall and break something. That or just a puckle makes me nervous. I don't. I like watching it. Like people who are competent to do it. Sure, I'm fine watching it. Doing it, no. Nora, <clears throat> did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Osram thought. The Osram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us, between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone, and we are left with many songs, but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. So walking? Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. From what I've learned, I think that day will come, T Cook. And there can be peace again. I can't help but hear TikTok whenever I hear his name. I'm sorry, but that's all I hear. Return to Vilgund. Um, you know what? I'm good. I don't really want to go all the way back to Meridian to finish this. I just kind of wanted to do that side mission as a little introduction to the Banuk. To the Banuk tribe, and now we can go up to here. Um, you know what? Let's just fast travel. Let's just fast travel back to here. There we go. <clears throat> and that was your little introduction to the Banuk tribe and what they're like, and uh, how they kind of um, see machines as how we would see animals, kind of thing. <coughs> Rather than like everyone else who sees machines for machines, they are actually at peace with them, kind of thing. Interesting introduction for sure. Um, yeah, and now we can go up. This is where they come from. Now we can go up and go to their their home. I wish I could make it daytime. I'm not gonna lie. Although the blue lights are kind of funky, so. Um. But yeah, now we'll actually get to see um, some of their home and stuff. Hey, Oscar, good to see you, dude. Uh, we've just finished the first little side mission, uh, which was like over like here, um, with an introduction to the Banuk tribe, who are um, at peace with machines, basically. Oh, the winters. Coming at once. Uh, they are, um... Whoopsie daisy. The machines are docile with them, or they were, at least in that area. And now we're going to their homeland. They, they treat machines how we treat animals, you know, with care and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, and then things went wrong, obviously. And now we're going to their homeland of Ban Ur. <clears throat> I too am at peace with machines. <laughs> Rumor, baby. So nice of them to leave these yellow handholds for sure. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking... Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuk and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> Shut up, silence. No one likes you. I actually don't mind silence. <laughs> I don't mind silence. I quite like his character. <laughs> like, I don't like him, like, as a friend, but I like his character. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, Oscar? Good to see you, dude. Um, I was saying before how I'm not sure whether this is um, set before or after the main story. I think it could go both ways depending on how you interpret it, but we'll see. 
But we're going up to the cut. That's what the, what the place is called. The cut is where the Banook are. And it sounds like, or seems like, Silence is, um, was one of them. This one's a new predator. Oh. See the heat coming off it. Oh, new machine. A scorcher. Ooh, a scorcher. Oh, you can't quite see that. Let me just move my camera. I say move my camera. Let me just turn off my camera. It's like a wolf. Um, so that's fun. Blaze canister. Mine launcher. Power generator. Okay, that's all right. Uh, what does it look like? Freeze. Wait, its weakness is freeze, but it's in the cuts, which is a snowy area. Actually, it's a scorcher. It kind of makes sense. <clears throat> Got her, wa her walking over that frozen water. That's so scary. Wait, wait why is it scary? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was actually frozen water. I think it was just, um, I had like a layer of snow on top of it. In that good. Oh. Uh, well, I hope you're feeling, I guess, better now? There's like some purple things coming off of it. Yeah! I don't know what it is. No, oh, boy. You know what? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, it's down, it's down, it's down, it's down, it's down. Ah, balls, I can't do my critical hit on it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah. Ah, fuck me. Oh, balls. Oh, that took a lot of damage. Ah, balls. Ah, you bastard, I keep missing. Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, it doesn't like freeze, right? It doesn't like freeze. Ah, ah. Oh. No. There we go. Uh oh. Oh. Ah. Don't do that. Ah. Oh boy. Oh, I need some health. No ammo! Ah! <laughs> uh, gah! Woo! No, oh, this one's a... Uh, a bit of a bastard. Takes a lot. Oh, that did something. Is it... Aha! There we go, I booped it, snoot. Whoo! God damn. Isn't the point of a mine that you hide? Uh, hide it to be stepped on? <laughs> I think <coughs> the kind of mines in this are just more like uh, proximity mines. Um, oh, actually, I do have some, but I can't quite show you. Um, so it's more just if you go close to it, it's going to explode. Um... But yeah, this is a, uh, it does look frozen, doesn't it? But it's like a layer of, um, it's like a layer of snow on top of the water. So it leaves like a trail where you walk. Um, but yeah, it does, does look frozen. I get, I get why. <laughs> Snoot booped. <laughs> uh, did, actually, did I, did I search it? I did. No, oh, I need the wire, actually. I'll take the wire. Oh, yeah, I'll take the wire. <laughs> oh, she loves a trail. <laughs> Draw a penis. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could just, I could just, I could, I could, I could just, no, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> although, <laughs> although from, <laughs> that's all you get. That's all you get. It's not quite, but that's all you get. <laughs> Uh, it's <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, Aloy, what are you like? Sure, she might only be like 19 or 20, but... <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> Uh, let's climb up here. There we go.
Uh, and up we go. And up again. So yeah, that was a new enemy. I forgot there were new uh, there were new machines in the DLC as well. Completely forgot. <laughs> uh, if you look over here, um, the ones down here, I think. Demonic machine. Uh, a scorcher. Mm -hmm. I guess these are. I'm not sure. Just more powerful. Demonic machines are more powerful and have stronger elemental resistances than normal uh, counterparts. Than their normal counterparts. They're a force to be reckoned with. Okay. We're actually missing a machine here and a machine here. Uh, maybe they're just ones I haven't scanned, but they're from the main the main game, so maybe I'm just... Maybe I missed them. <coughs> uh, which way? Can I go up? Is it up? Yes. There we go. Uh, I guess... Left. Uh, right, sorry. <laughs> the other left. Can we still see it from up here? Ah, uh, I was wondering if we could still see it from up here. Because <laughs> that would have been great. Oh. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Uh oh. Um. He's up there. Okay. Oh, I think they also have new, like, snow effects in this DLC, but I can't quite remember. <coughs> I think there was, um, there was, like, new snow effects or something when you walk in it. I can't quite remember, but something like that. Um, that's only in the DLC. It was, it was, it was, like, snow, like, when you walk into it or something. I think. Damn, these Banuk really have a... You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Okay. You made it to the cut, Outlander. I have. Not that you'll stay long. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. <clears throat> well, well. Is that a volcano? With red lightning coming out of it? Sure looks like it. Oh, very pretty lighting. Very pretty lighting indeed. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village too. What's it for? Oh. Goddamn. Looks pretty fiery. It it looks very red. It looks very, yeah, very like there's fire. Maybe fire, I'm not sure. But then there are these like electrical bits in in the in the in the smoke. <coughs> And now we are in a new village. Are we are we all going going somewhere? Looks like we're all heading this way. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. In times like these, uh -huh. the importance. Just do a quick save. The Great Banuk Party. It's a rave, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what they have the glowy the glowy wires for. They're, it's just their glow sticks. <laughs> and all the blue lights. It's the strobe lights. <laughs> They're just a bunch of ravers, man. <laughs> you ready for a rare sight, Nora? Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. <laughs> because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors, 
lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. was cool. <laughs> Her face paint keeps popping off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear. Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. <coughs> Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuka. <coughs> Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Interesting. Ooh, that was, I really like that cutscene. Uh, other than Aloy's face paint, like, kept on disappearing and then reappearing. Uh, hang on, Bjorn. No worries, Oscar. Uh, she's so rude. She shoved past that guy and here was like, um. <laughs> Silence, the Banuk. Aria, Aritok, worry about yourself. Um, let's do, uh... What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's <laughs> a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Hmm. Welcome back, Oscar. That was, um, good timing. Sorry, I had a cutscene, so I only just read your beer about message. Um. The internet is shit, so we've had to reset it. Oh? Is it the router going funny, or is it, like, because of the storm, things are going funny, or... This guy has some sass. He does. A little bit of sass. A little bit. Uh, and Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. 
told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Gotcha, so it's because of this daemon that the uh, machines have become more and more vicious, it seems, it sounds like. You think it's because of the storm, to be honest? Ooh. What's your um, download speed? Have you done a, a speed test? Oh, my phone is lighting up. That's very distracting. Hold on. There we go. Uh, there we go. Florence and the Vicious Machines. <laughs> now, to be fair, if it was called Florence and the Thunderjaw, that would sound pretty fucking rad. Especially because, you know, Thunderjaw just sounds like something to do with singing anyway. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. A man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. <laughs> this guy just cares about <laughs> his customers. The fuck was that? Thanks, okay. That'd be a cool cover band, Florence and the Thunderjaw. Sounds like a badass band. <laughs> what are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur. It's just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Werrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed. And the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Gotcha, so a, uh, a, is it a Werrick? A Werrick is... Basically, what the Banua call their their own groups, basically <coughs> their own secluded groups, kind of thing. And there's always a chieftain and a thingy majiki shaman. <laughs> you said you've lived out here for two winters. Aye, uh, back home, some fur traders told me about this steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Aurea. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter, my <coughs> assistant, Varja, my assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women. No, 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 no. I independent. <laughs> Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. <laughs> Make your own maps. I'm assuming they like they could cut, just cut, like buy a map and customize it. You know, right on there when they need to. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin, like a shaman. Oh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. 
I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo jumbo. Mm. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. Wait, wait, what did she say? Uh, Aloy, he was, oh, the guy was, was like, um, oh, he was basically like, oh, you're like my daughter. You're both, um, and she just went, women? <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 no. Independent. <laughs> <laughs> it was just her delivery of it, which um, which I liked. <laughs> I want to know more about this Damon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it, something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice. Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. Burgrind, that's it. talk can tell me more Sing about Aurea or Thunder's drum. And enjoy each other's Maybe worth a shot? Shaman's path. So what do we what do we have to do here? Uh, none of those. That's fine. But just find Naltuk and talk to Aratuk. So silence. Silence was a shaman, huh? Well, I'm not sure if he was a sh if he was a shaman or he just he just messed with them a little bit. Um, got on their wrong side, their bad side kind of thing. If we must face stronger machines, we'll have to become better hunters. What's up, dude? I do not want to hear this talk from you again. <laughs> Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. I like his braces. Very Batman-esque. Outlander. I suppose you wish to speak. Uh... Song's Edge? This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Uh. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. Okay. Um. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Damn, he's really got some Wolverine facial hair going on, hasn't he? Other than like, it's Wolverine, but with a soul patch. <laughs> Actually, bigger than a soul patch, it's more like a... I'm not sure what you just call the, the big goatee here, but... <laughs> goatee? <laughs> there are other wear acts and songs like too? Yes, the village has its own life for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. God, I recognize his voice. Hold on. Ah, my phone's on charge. Ah! Headphones. I think it might be who I'm thinking is. Um, let me just check. It might be, uh, oh, God, why can't I spell this correctly? 
Is it who I think it is? Um... <clears throat> I can't remember the name. Oh, it's not who I was thinking. <laughs> mm, no, it's not who I was thinking. Although I think I do know the guy, the actor. He's called Richard Neal. But he's it's not who I was thinking. There's another guy who... Um, what's his name? Is it Clancy? I thought Clancy Brown. I was thinking it was... Is it Clancy Brown? Yeah, I was thinking it sounds like him. It's not, but it is similar. Um, Clancy Brown, is, he, he's been in loads of... He's been in tons of things. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. I think of the tall neck as a um, yeah, I thought it was a voice actor I recognized, but it's not. Um, okay. Find Naltuk. Uh, is it worth speaking to this person? I don't... This isn't the daughter, is it? Is it? You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge. Without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Laolai. The drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was. Until it disappeared like under the name. waters. Deep Din. What's that? A hollow. Carved out by the old ones. A chamber, <laughs> a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life. My calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. Oh? So Deep Din is a place... And a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy or remembering? Love her fit. Yeah, it, it is great. Does she have like little ears as well? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. Looks like it. The next the nearby <laughs> river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I like it. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. So was it like a flash flood kind of thing? A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The flood waters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Ooh. That sounds quite interesting. Okay, um... Naltuk. That's where we need to go. I, I actually, <clears throat> I actually do have Banuk, the Banuk outfits in here somewhere. Uh, Banuk Trailblazer. Um, although I didn't actually use that one. Uh, there's another. There's another Nora, Nora, Kaja, uh, Banuk, Sickness Eater, Heavy. I think that's Corruption. Kaja, Osram, Banuk, Ice Hunter, Heavy. Um. Nora, Osram, Banuk, Warwick, Runner. Insulated and treated with med uh, medicinal oils. This survivalist gear provides slow health recovery over time. Aha. Uh -huh. Nora, uh, Banuk, Warwick, Chieftain. Um, an imposing outfit made equally for ceremony and extreme survival. Provides health recovery over time. So it's basically just like... Uh, a better version of this one. Yeah. I have to pop off to a meeting, but I shall be like, no worries, Thursday. Hope the meeting goes okay. Banuk Ice Hunting Master. Oh, that's really good. That's really good with ice. Cured hide and fur interwoven with machine plates uh, protect the wearer from freeze damage. Typical wear for the unforgiving north. I could, I could change to some Karja. Uh, the Kaja, sorry, no, uh, some Banuk, um, stuff. What do you think? What's this one? Oh, Shadow. Okay. 
Look how cozy these outfits are. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Which I might go with that one for now. Or well, maybe the freeze one. A good hunt means a good harvest. Oh, it's got like a little fairy um, bit as well. Ooh. You know what? I'll, I'll change when it's right in the story. How's that? Yeah, I'll change when it's right in the story. Every day you end breathing. It's day um, Fluffy, yeah. Yeah, I'll... I think if I just started wearing Banook stuff now, it might look a bit weird story-wise, but... Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Maria. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Ooh. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, wait a moment. In a minute. Look, this is where they dye their clothing. Are these sulfur pools? These must be stinky. Can't interfere with the cannon. <laughs> you can't. So yeah, this must be where they like dye and make uh, dye their clothes, basically. Maybe even hair, but probably clothes. Outlander. Yes. Can I help you? That weapon of yours, Outlander. <coughs> I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, oh. no. More of a tinker? Silence was a shaman? does not a understand shaman? the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Yeah. Within it, is a nest of Sorry. metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Okie dokie. So yeah, this must be where they uh, where they dye their clothing. Can I? Good hunters in this world. No, okay. Happy to count myself. I don't know what they're dying with. Oh, these are just the clothes that they have dyed. And then I'm assuming undyed clothes. Yellow dye. Huh. Okay. Like, damn lady, do you mind? <laughs> Aloy's like, no, I don't mind. <laughs> Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. Keep them together this time. Then okay. we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watch tonight. So this is the new area. Um, I was saying. I can't feel, my, I can't feel much of anything. In I was saying earlier, Oscar, that this is meant to be like the area, um, like a national park, or based off of national parks uh, in America. And I think one of them. I think it was mentioned as Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park, but I can't remember exactly. I think that's what I remember, but I could be wrong. But like in terms of like where we are sort of in America, National Parks. <coughs> oh, do a quick save. Oh. Carger are here. Uh, do I want to speak to them? May the sun grant you a, a portion of its wisdom, young huntress. I don't think I do. <laughs> uh, in future murder machine America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> future murder machine America. Oh, I shouldn't have gone down there. It's fine. Uh, there is. Oh, you see that there? Looks like a, uh... A tall neck? There you go. What did it take to knock one of those over? They're built to last. That's a tall neck there. Hmm. Bergren said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. Do we want to go check out the, 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 the tall neck quickly? I think we do. I think we do. Uh, I would like to... Can I not... There we go. Now, we, there are machines here. Will they attack me? Probably. Uh, 
battle started. Oh. Alright, well. Let's go. There's a lot more snow here. <laughs> I'm not sure what the snow effects were. Oh, I think it was just like walking and rolling on it, maybe? I'm not sure how it makes. I'm not sure what the... what the. I think maybe there was just more snow here. <laughs> Cannot see shit. Visibility is horrible. Yeah. Maybe that's what the new... Gotcha. Snow effects were. Ah, balls. Uh-oh. Oh, it doesn't like fire, right? It does not. Ah! We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah! <laughs> We're fine. Oh, boy. Uh, well, that's almost down. So, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ah! Jesus Christ. I've been playing a lot of Death Stranding recently, so I'm not used to so much action! <laughs> That's my excuse. Yeah! Oh! Uh-oh. 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 Balls. I keep missing. Nope. Hey, that actually, that actually did work. Uh. Oh, balls. Had to miss that one. Whoops, there we go. There we go. That's the last of the scavengers. Should scan the tall neck. See how deep the damage goes. <coughs> He used to be in a postman, basically. Like a... It's it's a postman. Oh, balls. It's a postman, but, you know, in extreme terrain. With, um... Ah, but with monsters. Kind of like monsters. I won't say much more. But basically monsters. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. um. <coughs> I've got, like, over 100 hours in Death Stranding, man. I actually really enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just finishing off doing the last bits on it actually um off off uh, off stream at the moment. Uh that'll do. Okay, let's quickly grab some bits. Check the area with my focus maybe. <clears throat> All right, Aloy. All right. Give me a moment. Gamers these days are no good at uh, no good all they have to do, all they do is uh have a baby and deliver post. <laughs> Can't even kill giant machine birds anymore. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Have a baby and <laughs> deliver post. <laughs> hey. There's a person here. The Renuk were protecting it. This tall neck was probably holy to them. Uh, yeah, honestly, in Death Stranding, you can just carry so much cargo, it's ridiculous. Just a tower on your back. Looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get at what's inside its head. Okay. Sure, we can do that. As long as it's not super long. Doesn't sound like it's super long. Sure, we can do that. <coughs> uh, over here. Twist mood every time I wear a backpack. <laughs> um, oh, there are bitches here. See, I, I actually thoroughly enjoyed my time with Death Stranding. Um, kind of wish I could kind of like replay it almost. You know, replay it for the first time all over again kind of thing. Wait. Ah! Got it. Oh, there's another one. You know what? I could try and sneak up on that one. I feel that way with a few games. Yeah, I feel that way with all of my favorites. 
wishing you could uh, <laughs> replay it for the first time. But at the same time, it's also fun going into a game with the knowledge of what it's going to be, kind of thing. Or what you what to expect. Wait for it. In the butt. Okay. Um, Just collecting this stuff. Uh, sure. Uh, to the point that I never replay. <laughs> I love this game. Never played it again. <laughs> um, because there are so many games on my list, I never have time to replay games. Um, but I will replay games like the ones I really enjoy. Um, like Dark Souls I went through twice. This is my second time doing this. I'm going to replay God of War um, and The Witcher. Um... Bloodborne, I went through... Uh, I actually did a speed run of Bloodborne to get the uh, other trophies. Because <laughs> you get trophies if you get different endings. So I did a, I followed a guide and did a speed run and did it uh, and completed the whole game in like under two hours. <laughs> Turn out playing. Would, <laughs> game would never play twice. Would play, ti uh, would play twice if I had time. Oh no. <laughs> I haven't replayed many games for this. I've replayed Pokemon Sapphire like a million times. Wow. That's impressive. I was looking at my DS the other day to see if there was anything I wanted from the store as they're shutting it down. And um, I realized I, I still have Pokemon Red on my DS. Yeah. Um, and legit, I think I called the main character Thor and like your, your rival. I think I called it Loki. <laughs> like legit. Uh, like years ago when I first got a DS. <laughs> so be like, ah, Thor, choose your Pokemon. Oh no, look, Loki is here. <laughs> and Loki will come in like talking shit. <laughs> um, we we'll play twice after twenty years of not playing. Yeah, that, that's accurate. That's accurate. <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate the, the Loki, uh, the Loki name. Is it up there? It's up there. Okay, we climb. I played yellow on my oh Game Boy. Yeah, we we had yellow as well uh, when we had a. Game Boy. Um, but it's a bit iffy, so I might need to take the back off and clean it up. But if you have a DS, you can get all of them on there, I think. You can get all, like, the old ones. Um, I do, like, Loki, a normal amount. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Things about to get hairy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I get you? I did. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. Can I just search this? Nope, can't. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. One down. Yeah. Yeah. Balls. Another one down. Balls. <laughs> uh, balls. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ah! I think I knocked his jaw off. Yeah. Where are you going? Where, you, where are you? Where are you going? Oh, knocked a bit off. Yeah! One more? Or is that it down? It's down. Okay. That was... Not horrible. But not the best. Uh, that'll do. Yes, but my Game Boy Color, <laughs> to be fair... I have a perfectly functional Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance, so I can just... Oh, well, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I was going to say, the added benefit of doing it on the DS is that you don't have to, like, bring the cartridges. You can just download and play whenever you want. But if you already have them, you know, 
no need to buy them again and give Nintendo even more money than they already ask for for games. Because, my god. Especially when they're just going to get rid of them. So willy-nilly like that. Oh, it's down there. Oh, great. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I'm fine. <coughs> oh, god. Um... For someone who, of course, does not play games due to being <laughs> very sexy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, I get, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, is it not down here? Where the piss is it? Oh, it's here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no! Oh. Oh, piss. Did not mean to fall down then. This tonic part's still in one piece. Balls. <laughs> he fell, he did. And I fell with it. Uh, like a dumb dumb. Um, you own most handheld consoles? Wow, I am kind of jealous, not gonna lie. I remember we had the, uh, the Game Boy, is it the SP at one point? The, the, the larger flippy up one? And it had like a tribally design on it. Uh, it was like silver. Um, yeah, we had that at one point. Uh, I think we've had... All the Game Boys at one point, and then they eventually were sold by my brother. Uh, which down there? There's frost between my teeth. Where do I have to go? Um, where am I needed to go? Have I got all the bits? No, part stabilizer. Okay, down here. Uh, gonna have to find a quicker way down. Aha! Quick way down. Uh oh. <coughs> I own Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS, DSi, 3D, a 3DS, Switch, and a PSP. Wow, Look that's uh. Oh, hi there. Oh no. Oh no. Um, that's a that's a decent collection. Um, I had a PSP at one point, uh, and I I think I only ever got. I got the only game I can remember on PSP was a game. Oh. No, I'm going to have a quick drink. Uh, it was a game called Pursuit Force. <laughs> that was... Uh, I, I played through that. And then did play through much else. <laughs> I don't think I actually ended up keeping it for very long. I don't think many of the games are like my kind of thing. I want to get the Steam one, but I'm unsure. I would... If I didn't buy a PC, I definitely would have bought the Steam Deck. That's exactly my kind of thing. Um, by the looks of things, I'd say it, it's worth it. Uh, oops, there's a... Do you know what you could do then, Oscar? <laughs> you could play this yourself, because Horizon is on PC. <laughs> you totally play this yourself, right? You're totally into gaming. You're, you're a proper... Ah! <laughs> this is totally your kind of game, right? <laughs> Totally your kind of game. <laughs> Especially handheld. Right? <laughs> oh, no. What's shooting me? Ah. Ah. Uh. Balls. Oh, what am I doing? I have a better weapon for this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, totally your kind of game. <laughs> Ice rail, there we go. Uh, let's do it for that. Um, I'd heard people notice a few issues with it, but I always wait until consoles are a bit old um, so the glitches are ironed out. Yeah, that makes sense. I do the same with games. Um, what are the problems you've heard with the with the Steam Deck? I haven't looked into it all that much since its announcement because of, um, I don't need to. <laughs> like, I have no use for it, basically, at the moment. Oh, balls. Oh, come on! Okay, well, that's down. Oh, balls. Can this thing, please... Okay. <coughs> what 
tall next part. Cool. It's heavy. Um, looks at all the dating sims I have on Steam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you can play those uh, portably. Or portable. Portably? On the go. Handheld. <laughs> Why can I not think of the word? <laughs> <laughs> so I was excited by the announcement, but a few people said it was kind of unplayable for a while. Oh, controls are iffy. Apparently a large amount of games actually weren't compatible. So I thought to give it... Oh, yeah, they, they do have... Um, yeah, they do have to be compatible. I've heard the list has got to like, I think, 300 compatible games now. Uh, and considering how much people have bought it, I'm assuming that will continue to grow. But yeah, that's a... It's not, a, it's not a bad idea to wait. Um, the only problem I see with having to wait for it now is... Um, so my friend got the Steam VR thing and he waited months for it to come back in stock. And it was gone like that as soon as it came back in stock. So I have a feeling it's going to do the same kind of thing. Blue Gleam? Does this look a bit different? It's like crystallized. Do you see that? Blue Gleam? The fuck is that? I don't remember. Um, okay, where was I? Uh, 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 um, oh, I'm missing bits. Um, yeah, I'm in there. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I hear they are making, adding games to it. Um, that's what I've heard. But I haven't actually looked into the actual thing um, for a little bit. Um, but it would be good to, say, maybe wait till the hy hype dies down. I, I don't know if the hype will die down. <laughs> but yeah, it does It does look very um, handy for playing all those Steam games you've got. And you can do it handheld, and you can then just connect it to your TV as well. Or connect it to your... I think connect it to your TV. Oh, connected to a monitor. Um, oopsie dizzy. Uh, up here. And then up. What? It's, it's taking me like in a dodgy way. Honestly, I'd have a better time if it was handheld. It, I mean, yeah, if you if you prefer handheld, um, it just gives you the option really, which I like. I like that it gives you the option to do both, and you, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, for example, I never ever play handheld on my Switch. <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, attach. Well, that hits. Sure hope it works. Oh, gotcha, that's where it was leading me. Gotcha, okay. Stabilizer. Well, it's in better shape than it was. I thought she was just going to say, well, it's in, and I was like, don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. The reason I have so many is because I pre, pre uh, pandemic spent so much time on long train journeys. Uh, and also my laptop was very... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's That that makes sense for long train journeys. It would be perfect for that. Recently, I've been given the chance uh, just so I can play. Oh, to use TV, just so I can play Kingdom Hearts in a room where I've actually got stable internet. Oh yeah, you need internet for it, don't you? Yeah, that's the the thing I don't like about the Switch version. <laughs> that, wake you up. that you always need a connection. Easy. Now. Easy. <coughs> Aha! Our boy is awake. Now we're just gonna climb on top of it. Now I need to climb on top again. I need to find higher ground. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I think I can leap onto the tall neck from here. No, I can't. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Okay, next bit over there. Uh, it makes me so mad. Yeah, I, I, <clears throat> I, I'm not a fan of the the the, the cloud-based games on Switch, just because they always need a connection, which I think is a little bit shitty. Um, 
Especially considering the other games that can run on the Switch. Well, I, for Kingdom Hearts, I think it's shitty because I think it, that I think they could have got that to run on the Switch. No, there we go. Okay, time to. I, I get it for things like uh, Resident Evil because that's much more intense and like Control, that's more graphically intense. It's still shit that you have to have a connection, but I get why they've done it. But for Kingdom Hearts, I think it's a bit shit. <laughs> Nintendo sent me an email like, give us feedback about your purchase. And I was like, I hate what you did to it. <laughs> I got 30 coins for it. Yeah, I know those ones. <laughs> I know those emails. <laughs> um, also, it means I have to buy bulk. I just, um, like, I just, uh, I want to just buy Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. Up to its head. Yeah, it's... That's what I that's what I mean with Nintendo. They're a little bit backwards on how things work still. They're not quite up to scratch kind of thing. Uh, technically wise. Okay, let's reveal the area. <sighs> Uh, let's have a look. Oh, wrong one. Ah! Well, there's lots of the area. Most of it uncovered. I don't know why this part is still grey. Or is it? There's, like, something under there. I'm not sure what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll find out another time, because I'm not sure what they are. Uh, there's Naltuk. There's Waterlogged. Is that... That might be the musical instrument one... Um, and that's the, whatever that is. <clears throat> um, oh, because I have the rest of the Nintendo consoles already. Yeah, it's so irrit- yeah, just... There are lots I would change about how Nintendo do things. <laughs> there are definitely a lot. Um, and it just makes them... How they do things now makes them appear very money grabby. Um, the actual, the people who are doing very, the, the company who, uh, who are doing actually really like, who are super consumer friendly actually are Microsoft with Game Pass. Because Game Pass is an excellent deal. Um, like 100%. A really good way to go. Um, and a really great deal. Um, and it makes everyone else look even more money grabby. <laughs> uh, this way. <coughs> I would strangle Nintendo with my bare hands. Oh Christ! <laughs> yeah, like I can, um, I can own it digitally, so I can't even guarantee having the game long term. Yeah, exactly. Like Screen Enix, yeah, is, yeah, or, or Disney could pull it any time. I mean, if you always have it downloaded, then it should be fine. But the fact that you need an internet connection means that they could shut down the servers, and that's it. You then lose access to the entire game. That's my money wasted, yeah. My internet goes down, um, yeah, that's my gameplay gone. Yeah, yeah. That's what I really don't like about it. Um... Like once you buy something, you should just be able to keep it and be able to play it forever, basically. Cold, very cold. I get it. That must be Naltuk. Oh. Out of it. Oh, I forgot about these. It looks like it's sending out a pulse or signal. There are like these weird flower things. Interesting. <coughs> Control tower. It. And it looks like a flower, um, like an evil flower kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, also, randomly, my big gripe is because uh, it's not ported, it's, uh, it's streamed. Yeah, the controls are inconsistent between games and haven't been fixed up. So Kingdom Hearts 1 still plays really badly. Oh, that's... I, did not, yeah, I didn't even realise that. I thought they would have at least, you know, streamlined the controls. You know, done some, some standard quality of life improvements. Like remasters usually get. <coughs> I'd say that's a part... Of that's that's both part, uh, fault of Square Square uh, Square Enix and um, Nintendo. Naltuk? Who are you? 
How did you find me? Ooh, I like his headpiece. Told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. Oh. The daemon's energy pulses from them. <coughs> rallies the machines, even repairs them. Um, I'm glad I bought the cheaper bundle. I feel less cheated than if I spent 60... Oh yeah, how much How much was your one then? 60 pound on... Yeah, I would... Mm. Yeah, I'm not happy with those. Yeah, not at all. Especially when... 29-ish, that's... Okay, that's not as bad. That's like... What, less than a tenner a game? Uh, actually, how many games are in there? That's even less than that, isn't it? Are there, are there more than three games? Or is it, it's not just one? Is There's quite a few in there, isn't there? Uh, Aratok said this daemon was frenzying machines. Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. Are these towers, were they part of your corruption? No. <coughs> Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Um. Yeah, so I have Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, uh, that one, Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, 365, BBS, uh, I think another one. Damn, that's... And that's not bad for £29. It's just shit that they're streamed. That's the shit part about it. It's a good prize for all of that. But just shit that it's streamed. <laughs> but, but. <laughs> Will you tell me where away I went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now. And it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Okie dokie. Oh, 367. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three I think you did tell me 365 can't be played. Yeah, th 365 um, was released on DS, uh, meaning it requires dual screens to play. Yeah, I think I remember. So you get like a cutscene movie. Gotcha, it's, it's a bundle of cutscenes, I see. So you're still getting one, two, three, four. Are you still getting four or five games and then a cutscene movie, I guess? <clears throat> oh, and you get another one. <laughs> so you get like five and a cutscene movie i think i think i'd rather have the cutscene movie than nothing at all but i get it's still also annoying that it's just a cutscene movie kind of thing all right you want to stop the spread of the daemon's work i know how to get started with my bow and spear outlander wait won't you tell me your name aloy good if you fall to the daemon's machines at least i can properly recount your efforts to Araya. thanks for the vote of confidence but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Okie dokie. Um, ah, so we have to deal with some of these. Demonic long leg. Um, demonic scrapper. Uh, before I dive into that, um, I think. Okay, that's fine. Um, I was uh, telling Toasty earlier. <coughs> That I was watching PJ's stream and how he was making a Kirby in Blender. As in Kirby that has, has eaten a car to become Kirby. Um, I was thinking I might draw my own version of Kirby, but a little bit sort of body, body horror esque, you know, creepy with like bits tearing and drool and maybe teeth and maybe like multiple eyes or something. Uh, like veins and all sorts of like texture and stuff that Kirby usually doesn't have. So yeah, I might do that. I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. I've still got my Spider-Man one to do as well. <laughs> okay. Weakness doesn't like that. Um, nobody weakness doesn't like tear. Okay. <clears throat> um... Kingdom Hearts 1 Remaster, Chain of Memories, three, uh, three, 
oh yeah and then that one i always get this uh this one's name is this one's name wrong king parts 2 remaster birth by sleep remaster okay so you do get quite a bit but yeah it's just shit that say in like 10 years time probably not gonna be able to play them they'll probably not be available to play anymore because of nintendo uh shutting down the servers or some bullshit Okay. Do I have to deal with the tower first? I think I might have to. The pulse gives them energy. Uh, them. Does that not actually do it? Nope. Maybe I need to just override. Ah! Maybe not. Oh, hi! Oh, no. Okay, time to move, time to move, time to move. Time to move, time to move, time to move. Ah! Balls. Ah! So maybe I need to get over there now and try and override it. Ah! This is gonna go wrong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh! I'm not sure if that worked or not. I'm not sure what that did. I'm not gonna lie. Did it just stun them? I think it did. Uh, is it down? So the tower helps nearby machines. But it can be overridden. Gotcha. That was dumb. I think I should have snuck up and uh, snuck up to it and overridden it first, then attacked. Okay. Oh, that that rock is, I think. Love puffing. It's farting. Um, <laughs> uh, I thought DD was there. That must be part of the collection, including King Mars 3. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Um, so you don't get them all then, sadly? Or you don't get them all? You, you, you... <sighs> Man, if they're going to do a bundle, at least let people just buy the ones they want separately. Do I have to destroy this? Control tower? Do I have to shoot this? Go! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe should have taken a step back. Like a Tom Cat on this territory. <laughs> I'm glad you said spraying. You could have chosen a worse word. Uh, and I'm sure you you can think of a worse word to use for later. on a stream. <laughs> uh, a less family-friendly word. <laughs> there you go, that's the one. <laughs> yep, there it is. Um, there's three bundles, so there's one I have, which is 1.5 plus 2.5 remaster. So that's the game. Oh, I see, I see. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm following, I'm following. God, it's just poopy that you won't be able to play them, you know, if they just... Uh. Yeah, I hate the, having to rely on, say, the internet to be able to replay, to, to be able to replay, uh, to play a game, Can't sorry. That's not how games should work. <laughs> Um, unless specifically it's like an online game, but for a single-player game, mm -mm. if it's an online game, I get it a bit more. You are quite the warrior. Because you're not going to play it unless you're online anyway, because it's an online game, so that kind of makes sense. But um, for a single-player game, you can get fucked, <laughs> basically. <coughs> Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. 
The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Okay, blue gleam. What is blue gleam? You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Okay. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, <laughs> a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. I think I know this guy's voice actor as well. It sounds like... It sounds like... Let me see if I'm right. I think I know it. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I know... Let me see if I get it right. Um, I think... I'll tell you who I think is. I think it's a guy called Robbie Damon. Um... It sounds like him. Yep, it's Robbie Damon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad I got that right now. <laughs> There's my little win. Okay, cool. Yeah, Robbie Damon. He's um He's quite a, he's quite a cool guy. <clears throat> oh, there's a second bundle that seems to have Kingdom Hearts 2, Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts X, and Dream Dot Dream Drop Distance. How much which seems ran oh god, these bundles, man. They should just let you make your own bundle. You add on the games you want, and then it, ca it, it, it calculates a price for you. Like a discounted price. That's... That would work. <laughs> Man's on his voices. <laughs> the third bundle is the entire collection. Oh, man, the entire collection. I bet that's expensive. I gotta dip for dinner. No worries, Oscar. Enjoy your dinner, dude. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though. So she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Aurea at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. Oh, okay. The shaman's path. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. You okay there, dude? Man's really got to go poop. He real desperate. Huh. Okay. Uh, up to the shaman's path, which is... Oh, should we go see... Yeah, waterlogged. The, um... What the person was speaking about with the, the musical instrument. I think we should. God damn, look at those. Look at those stars. And the northern lights looking... It's, it's, I don't think it's the Aurora Borealis kind of thing, but very similar. It's the same kind of phenomenon kind of thing. Ooh. Very pretty indeed. Uh, this, this way? Um, I actually needed some health, didn't I? Grab some of that. Let's just grab some on the way. That's not it. It was actually it was health. Oh. Oh. This must be the ruin Laulai was talking about. Deep in. 
Oh, there's like three, uh, three, four. Just gonna, you're just gonna get on out of here. <laughs> Oh boy. Um. Nothing to see here. Yep. They're scanning mm. for me. Nothing to see. You you keep on going. So there's, there's did I see did I see four of them? And there's three there. Was there another one? There's a squirrel. Okay, was there another one? Aha. So one, two, there's four. There's four of them. Hmm. Um. Freeze sack body doesn't like fire. Okay, doesn't like fire. Um. Okay, fire, and I guess. All right. Well. Uh, let me swap out my ice rail, and I think I've got a fire forge. Okay, I'll take that. Um, yep, that's that's fine. This one, I think this one, as well. Okay. Oh, I don't actually have much fire. Oh, balls. My flamethrower will not work as well as I thought. Uh, where's a close one? This one's coming up. All right. Well, maybe I can get a sneak attack on it. And then... Nah. Which way are you going? All right, let's go. Does not like the fire. Okay. Uh... Ah! Get away, get away, get away. Oh, well, that was... Ugh. Balls, I missed it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just swap out that one. Um, I have a bow that does... Well, maybe this one. Yeah, maybe that one. Or maybe just explosion. Yeah. Maybe we just take some explosions. Uh... Yeah, that works. Yeah. Sure. Oh, oh, has that one seen me or am I good? <laughs> okay. Uh, back away. Did she say fuck off? <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> I thought she said fuck off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> fire does not like fire. So that's good. Uh, for me. Uh, just as long as I can. Oh, Jesus Christ, I jumped far. Yeah. Okay, that one's down. That's good. Uh, get some more. Doesn't like fire at all. So maybe do that, and then we go back to. Oh, you're a bit close. And maybe use some of this. Ah, no, no, no. Uh, that balls. That balls. What's that doing? Oh, is it like delayed? Uh, uh, Aloy, 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 God damn it. Smack it. Okay. That kind of worked. Have I ch checked this one? I have. Where's the other one? Over there? Where's the other one? I thought there was another, there is another one somewhere. I just don't know where it landed.
Did it land down here? Oh, this is it. This lump. Got it. Got it. Uh, I'm just going to check my scavenger boxes. Uh, treasure boxes. Nope, can't take that. Can't take that. Can't take that. Can't take that. <laughs> can't take that. Can't take that. Okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Cool. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Yes. But also nope. <laughs> nope. 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 All right, we've got four pages of this. Bear with me. Nope. 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 Yes, but no. Again, yes, but no. You get the gist. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Nope. Nope. Unopened ones. Yes, but also no. Cool. Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yep. Nope. <laughs> uh, nope. Yep. Uh, yes, but also nope. Again, yes, but... Oh, damn. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, wait, no, that was yes. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Yes. Nope. Okay. No. No. Okay, well, I got some some resources back. Which isn't too bad. <coughs> now, can I... Oh, I thought... Oh, I can go above, but it's over there. So it's not as close as I thought. Okay. Well, I could just shoot from up here. I could. All right, let's just do it. Yeah. Not a fan of that. Ah. Oh, that did something. Yes, excellent. Nice. Well, that went a lot smoother. Can I? Ah. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's all I can craft from that. Oh, balls. I need some. Um, blaze. Um, now it's leading me over there, but this seems this is the entrance because there's the ladder. Uh, but this is breath is ice before I even breathe out. Um, this is where it, I guess, flooded. Ooh, that must be cold water. <clears throat> That's got to be cold. Uh, the goat? Sure, I'll take the goat. <laughs> Over here. Um, what are we looking for here? Anything? Oh, there's something there. Oh, that said something. Return to Singapore? Uh, I don't think I need to read this. I don't think I do. Anything in here? Nope, got a tent and a little, little camp. Uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, follow the river. Upstream. That's it. What's in the quests? It investigates the source of a sudden... Okay. 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 Is 
there something over there? I don't think so. Where was this campfire? It's a campfire over there. Must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Let's do a save. Hey, merchant. Ah, merchant, eh? Um, whoa. Oh, you come with some cool stuff. Hey, maybe. Uh, but what I need is resources. I need blaze. How much do I have? Just, can I... Item doesn't fit. Oh. Uh... Alright, I need to make some space. Okay. Sure, I can take that. It's free. Um... Animal map? I had forgotten about... No, I'm not animal. I had forgotten about that you can buy maps. Alright, I need to make some space. Um, resources. Okay, what do I want? What do I not want? I could sell some, actually. What am I doing? I could sell. I've got tons of stuff. Uh, sell. Resources. Let's see. What do I, what do I have loads of that I don't need? Freeze stuff. I've got tons of these. Uh, yeah. Um, actually, no, I don't. <laughs> fire, fire one? Okay, what do I have lots of? Metal vessel. Got lots of these. I need to get me some blaze, because I keep running low on it. Metal burn? Do I have anything that's purely for selling? Um, yeah, here, <laughs> trading with merchants. <laughs> um. Yep. <coughs> oh, I got a lot of, lot of these. All right, all right, all right. I assume these were, were for like crafting because it's been a while since I played. Uh, but no, no. Just for seven. Taking up my space. <laughs> ah, I could have <laughs> carried so much more. Stalker heart. Yep. Sell these. Yep. Sell that too. Uh, yep. Sell that. I like how it tells you what it's used for. That's really handy. Especially when you haven't played for so long. Uh, and you just forget, like I have. Um... Okay. Don't think I need to outfit, so I've already got that. Blue gleam, uh, scorcher lens. Okay, so it's used for those, but that's fine. I've already got those. I will not get the special versions because I cannot be bothered. I'm fine as is. Gives me more challenge. Um, <laughs> a goose. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll sell the goose. Uh, is this resources? Yeah, I'll sell the goose. <laughs> and I'll sell... All that. And I'll sell the Borskin. Grazer Heart. G give me a moment. Apologies. <laughs> I just need to make space. <laughs> selling for metal shards. Selling for metal shards. Yeah, we'll get there. Anytime. I don't want to sell that. I wish I could lock that so I don't sell it by accident. Because that is super helpful. Um, God, I would scream if I sell that. Watch your heart. Yep. That's all good. Okay. Oh, God. Oh god, there's a lot that I need to that I should have sold and just didn't. Uh 
I'll I'll do a few more and then and then I'll just I'll just leave it there because I'm sure that will be enough space. I'm sure. I hope. Uh, okay. Now I can actually buy some resources, like some blaze. Uh, I would like to buy multiple. Uh, owned. Maybe 50 blaze? Uh, 60? 60 blaze? Yeah, could, could do the 60 blaze. Chill water, why has that got a thing on it? Oh, I've got 102. Jesus. Alright. Maybe I should buy more Blaze. I've got so many. Um, Sparker, 589? Shit. Alright, I'll buy more Blaze. <laughs> Maybe 150. Alright. What, two more? Okay. Uh, did it not take up all that much space? I thought, where's my blaze? I thought my blaze would have been here. Alright. Did I, uh, uh, resources. Now, I definitely bought blaze, correct? Yes, I did. Not that many, you know, I could buy more. I took up four, only took up three spaces, you know. I could, I could buy more. Just to make sure I've got enough. I'll go up to 250. Nearly there. One more. There we go. Okay. That should be better now. Um, right. We were going to try and do this, weren't we? I'm not sure what I'm looking for here, though. Does it just say follow the river up? Um, maybe I'll do this the, the main mission for now then. Because it just says follow the river upstream. Well, I guess that would be all the way up there. Let's do this one for now. The Shaman's Path. God, that means I didn't actually have to fight those snap moors. Oh, god damn it. <coughs> okay, well, at least we've got some blaze. God damn. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this open world. I'm sure I'll like other open worlds, sure. But I don't think I'll ever get tired of this one. Like, sure, not every little bit of it holds up. <coughs> Like the water surfaces, uh, looking mainly at the water. <laughs> but uh, it is still very nice to look at and kind of roam around. Uh, let's continue up the shaman's path. And then we should find the person we're looking for up the top here. This is where they came. <coughs> oh. Would you look at that? Get another look at that as well. <coughs> I'm pretty far up. The 
The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Ooh. Activate the, real, uh, the ritualistic marker. Sure. Don't mind if I do. How? Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. I see. But what's this way? Anything of it? No, it just leads to a dead end. I mean, you can't really go wrong then if it just leads to a dead end, right? Like, there's only so far you'll go before you have to turn back. <laughs> I'm glad there's shadow there. Uh, let's see, where else? Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. But first. But at least there's stuff. Yes, there is. Yep, 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 yep. Actually, I need to do this. There we go, now I can actually make fire stuff again. Okay. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Ooh, you hear it? Kind of. Uh -huh. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. <coughs> so it's right there, but... Wrong way. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware, Aloy. <laughs> but I would like the stuff. I'm a sucker for stuff. Back. After I grab this loot. Uh, there we go. Right across here. Awesome. Cool. And then that away. Can't go back. No, okay, there's nothing there. Now the chime was Did I pass it just now? Where was the chime? Ah <laughs> I see. <laughs> A lot closer than I thought. Another marker. Good. Unless that's a different one. Could be. This isn't the way out. Some gear, though. Yep. Uh, I'll take it all. That way. But first. <laughs> Took a wrong turn. Ah, there's nothing here. Ah. Again, I want to go. I heard a machine. Aha, well, there's the chime. That's probably the way I have, the way I have to go. But first. Is this dead end? Wait. Back? Yes, back indeed. <coughs> there it is. Chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. I mean I did. We looked down here, Aloy. <laughs> Not this way. But then. Oh, I didn't see which way here. Is it back? And up? Yeah, there we go. I see. Up. Uh, potentially down. Ah, 
But apparently not. Stalkers. Better be careful. Alright, 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 alright. But first, what's this way? Dead end or does it lead out to the enemies? This leads a different way. Oh. This doesn't like shock, right? No, it likes this one likes shock. It just doesn't have any weaknesses. Okay. Go. All right, that's what I got for you. <laughs> oh, hey, that worked. That worked. Come on! No. That worked. I hope that was just the one. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Thank you. Aha! <coughs> Sure, 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 sure. I want that. But I need to ditch something else first. What can I ditch? What do I not want? It was... What was the sign again? Uh, it was a, a target. Target, okay. Target, target, target. Which one's got a target? These ones. Okay. <coughs> Uh, maybe this first one can go, because that one has resist melee attacks as well. Uh, although I can just get rid of something that I've got lots of. Uh, like this one, the handling one. <laughs> or the corruption one. 37 corruption compared to 48. Or 51 handling shot. Yeah, okay, that one can go. Sure. Do -do 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 -do. What did I get? What did I get? That one. 10% uh, resist range attacks and resist... Free okay, well, that's definitely better. I will take it. Okay. Cool, let's go back. Um, I think we're all good, why, uh, uh, ammo-wise. <coughs> uh, we need to go up. Wait, there we go. Right. That way? Yep. Ooh. More stalkers. No, thank you. Unless you've got stuff for me to pick up. In which case, maybe. <coughs> If I have to end up going down, which it seems like it, then if I have to go through you, then I'm gonna go back up and shoot you. Better go back after I grab this loot. Yeah, you know. All right. Um. Yeah, we gotta go through. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's just. That's just. <clears throat> now I can shoot from up here, correct? Blow them to, in the words of Daffy Duck, the smithereens. Ooh. All right. Well, that's most of its stuff off. Can't get me from um, from down there, silly. Oh, strike from above. Oh, uh. Mm. I mean, it was cool, but was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Because the other one was. Uh oh, where's the other one? 
There's the other one. I found it. <laughs> uh oh. Ah. Oh, that does damage. Uh, a fair amount. Ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's not stand for long. That's all good. Nah. Um, maybe just blow it up. Maybe. Yeah. 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 We just blow it up a lot. I hope this works. And then stab. No, oh, thank God. Okay. Hey, Oscar. Good to see you back. <laughs> Hello, I'm back for a bit. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> we are um, currently going through the shaman's path. Uh, also, how was dinner? How was dindins? <laughs> Say dindins like you're a cat. <laughs> how was dinner? <laughs> Food's good. I imagine it was good. I can't wait to have some. <laughs> Actually, I'm not that hungry to be fair. I just like it. <laughs> it had a lot of gravy, which is good. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Could you can you pour some into like a fax machine and um, I'll just open my mouth and let whatever comes out. Uh, do what it needs to do. Go eat. Eh, I'm not that hungry. I'm not that hungry. I'm a little bit peckish, but I'm not that hungry. I ate before I before I came on. <clears throat> so, like two and a half hours ago. Probably about three hours ago now, actually. Oh, I'll be out. So the shaman's path was a bit like a maze inside, like a cave network kind of thing. Yeah, point gravy. <laughs> so what's next on this path? Oh. Point gravy into the machine now. Fax machine seems to be grumbling and rumbling. Is this the, the start of Horizon Zero Dawn? Is this how... Is this what Ted Faro did to, to the machines? And that's why they went, they went wrong? God, the lighting, man. I can't get enough of the landscapes and the lighting. Um, Down here? Uh, Murder Moss is created through fax machine abuse. <laughs> um, oh, also, I, um, turns out I had a load of shit I should have sold. <laughs> I had a lot of shit I should have, I, I should have sold. So I sold a, a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. And now I have a lot more space for, um, crafting. Like ammo and stuff that I need. <laughs> Oh, whilst actually I have space, I might as well treasure boxes. I may I'm, I may as well take all of this and use. Okay, I can't take that one. Uh, I might as well grab these whilst I can. Give me a minute. Give me a moment. I'll try and go a bit slower so it doesn't flash. Nope, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> okay, uh, not that one either. <laughs> Loaded now, yeah, literally. Did you just forget you could do- I did. I forgot I could sell stuff. But I had stuff specifically for selling. And it literally has no other use. And it was taking up a ton of space. Um, and I just completely forgot. Nope. And now I can- nope. <laughs> now I can take lots of these. And... Yep. Yep. Short. Yep, okay, cool. <clears throat> it was in resources. Yeah, so stuff like the uh, Watcher Heart and Fire Claw Lens, Ravager Lens, um, these luminous braiding. It says used for trading with merchants and selling for metal shards. Completely forgot I, I, I could do that. <clears throat> How long were you carrying it for? Uh, since the start of the game. Since the start of the game. Uh, that's why I have 44,000 shards because I sold so much. <laughs> Judging intensifies the same light bar. <laughs> yeah, completely forgot. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. So wait for it to fill up. And then we go. Whoa! Woo! Let's jump. 
Um, so yes, essentially, I I, I carried a lot. I didn't need, and it was stopping me from taking anything else. Uh, I need to go up there, but then there's a ladder here, so I'm curious. My curiosity has... There we go. Look, I can pick things up again! <laughs> ah, it was like that for the entire story. How do I cross this one? Um, it's a good point. Down, then up, down it is. Can I drop the ledge? There we go. <laughs> Uh, okay. There's the way up. There is, but there's also a box here, which I would like. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what's this? Pigment, a light oxide. Pigments. I can collect pigments. What for? Is it just for new armor? I don't think I can dye my trade sets in Song's Edge for a while. I don't think I can get new armor dyes in this. I, although I kind of wish I could. Or maybe I can and I'm forgetting. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, we'll find out. Then I, I yank on this. Pull the rope to move this thing into position. <clears throat> okay. The bridge is filling up. Oh. And then I got a... Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Aloy. You're supposed to jump. <laughs> You're supposed to jump. I, I could have actually zip lined back down, but I didn't. <sighs> go, 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 go. There we go. <laughs> anyway, you climb with your hands, not your face. I mean, if you do climb with your face, it is also very impressive. I, I, I have to say. Super impressive if you can, but, um. Understandable if you can't. Uh, take all of that. And. Over there, okay. Teeth muscular. <laughs> oh, can you imagine muscular gums? <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> I can. Uh, my creepy carby is going to have that. Oh, I'm calling it creepy carby, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, if I if I draw if I draw creepy carby, then um, it'll be called creepy carby. Ah, oh, I could just I could just call it creepy. Could just call it creepy, but oh, oh, so many options. <laughs> So little time. <laughs> I pop out of lucky to <laughs> muscular teeth. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Use those teeth, Aloy. <laughs> no. Oh, is that like a bear? I think it's like a bear. <laughs> Wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it's friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's like a bear. Can I scan it? No, it's gone. <laughs> Let's go down there. No, no, fuck that. How was the uh the meeting? Toasty. <laughs> Your teeth muscular? <laughs> oh god, can you imagine? Uh we're just going up the shaman's path. To find um Aurea? I think Aurea. There's a lot of snow in this area, by the way. Like a lot of snowfall. In the main area, it was like light snowfall in here. It's pretty pretty heavy snowfall. It's kinda of making me chilly, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I mean, so is the wind, but <laughs> um you might find one of the you might find, you might see one of the new things that we discovered. Uh it's these control towers that look like flowers. Oh, takes out my shield. Shit. It was a nice meeting about a slightly depressing topic, so I'm glad. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, at least the meeting was nice, even though the subject was not. 
This is the control tower. It is a bit like a flower. Um, that kind of... This is where the demonic signal is coming from kind of thing. The people were lovely, so that helps loads. That's good. Oh. Uh, that's good, yeah. It's always good that if you have some nice people. All right, let's... <coughs> <clears throat> Death flower, yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah. Oh, large boy! Large boy! Oh. It, it do be bear like. Where is it? Is it. Frost claw. A frost claw. Let me just uh, rem remove my, my my face. Oh boy. A frost. Weakness is fire. Okay, that's good. Weakness all in the in in the in the old freeze sack. Um. And in the old <laughs> freeze unit it is a fucking unit. Look at it. <laughs> Shock and tear in there. Okay, so mainly weakness all and fire and tear. Um, that is a, there's a large boy. Uh, can I? Okay. And I have to get up to the flower without being seen, I believe. I mean, it helps to. You don't have to. But it helps to. Okay, he's going over there now. So if I roll my way over. By that pulse from the tower. Yep. I'm aware. Into the patch of grass. <coughs> Lord lad, friend shaped. That rock would definitely hide you, Aloy. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I climb up there? I'm unsure. I need to bring this tower down. I know. I would like to override the tower first. So if this thing moves out the way I mean Jesus look at the thing it do be it do be large and intimidating okay Ooh, yeah. can um now climb climb uh oh Climb! If I go around this side, maybe it won't see me. <laughs> oh. Uh, we should be fine. We should be fine. There we go. Okay, then. Let's see if this thing can work for me. I guess we're doing this, big boy. Ah! That's it, use the tower for defense. Oh, it stands on two legs. Oh. Oh, on fire is much worse. Oh, on fire is... Oh, no. On fire is... Bad to... Mm. Mm. This is... Just... Yeah, keep away. Keep, keep the tower between us. And I'll be fine. Uh, you know what? I could just... No! Ah! Explode it. Oh, fuck me. Okay, that still works for me. That still works. It's a little slimy. It's still good. It's still good. It's a little broken. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> it's on fire. It's still good. It's still good. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Um, are we good? Are we good? Ah! <laughs> We're fine. Oh my, that does a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, we good. We did it. Scary new machine down. 
Now back to finding Araya. <coughs> Which means we've got to climb. Ah, <laughs> the even worse enemy, using effort. <laughs> Um, oh, I got to dip again. <laughs> Mess him up. Right, no worries, Oscar. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your evening, dude. Uh, did I miss anything up there? I think I did. I think I'm good. Oh boy, he do be a large lad. Uh, oh crap. Uh, grab that. I could forget what warmth feels like out here. <clears throat> So are the flower things sending out, uh, sending a signal out, making everything hostile? I believe so. Uh, we saw a guy earlier, uh, Nat Natuk or something like that, um, voiced by Robbie Damon, uh, <laughs> which I guessed. <laughs> he said that these flower things, these towers, started uh, sprouting only a few weeks ago, and since then these machines have become more hostile, uh, <laughs> as you said. Oh, useful. Um. So essentially, yes, these towers are sending out a signal. Um, it seems. I should be able to get up there. The the purple bits on the on the machines, that's uh, uh, the, the the bad stuff. <laughs> Sorry, my brain stopped working. Okay. Climb up here. Um, and then people, I think you saw before, people went to like this volcano, um, to find this daemon, oh, demon, daemon, um, <laughs> random slow motion. <laughs> um, and people died and yeah, so it's essentially the, this demon thing, daemon is, um, seems to be the, the, the bad thing of the story. <laughs> it's no worries, my brain does that too. Yeah, my brain does it a, a little bit too often. <laughs> Ooh, satellite. Aha! This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. That's it, Naltuk. I guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I can see why it's <coughs> So this is blue gleam. Uh, and this grows on machines. The oldest of the machines. There, I think this is a storm bird. Jesus, uh, I think that's his head there. Um, and it grows on these on these machines, and it's basically used for selling. But um, it's interesting that this crystal grows from machines, kind of thing. And uh, at the end of the shaman's path, uh, the, the person who traversed the shaman's path gets to take a little bit of blue gleam. That's that's why we um, that's why it's there. Okay. Um, over to the stairs. Naltuk said Aurea went past the shrine <coughs> into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. Okie dokie. Uh, let me just check the time. <coughs> oh, damn. Half seven. I only have about... Ooh... Uh, ancient door. Maybe is inside. An hour or so? Let me just send a quick message. Just so I know what my plans are. Exactly. Um. Two seconds. Gonna get. Ooh, the shrine looks like an old satellite. It does look like an old satellite dish. Yeah, the satellite there, but can't quite see it. It does though. Uh, you are, I, I would. I agree. Maybe we'll find out exactly what it is. Explore Aurea's retreat. Okay. Man, these guys are such ravers. Look at these <laughs> glow sticks everywhere, man. Look at them. <laughs> Oh. Firebreak upgrades. March 10th, 2046. 
I just spent 16 hours in here, trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy, I should just go to bed. So, this is called Firebreak? Interesting. Ah, uh, Nicole just arrived. Um, so I will, I will BRB quickly, so I can say hello, and then I will be be back in a second. Don't be spending people, <laughs> dude. That's weird. It is. It is weird. <laughs> um, I will BRB. I'm gonna make a drink as well. Uh, two minutes. Good timing on my part. <laughs> um, I was just talking to Nicole about her day because she had to work a long day. Um, and that song just finished. Right, so it was it was Firebreak, wasn't it? Okay. Let's continue onwards. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Anything around here? No. Anything over here? <laughs> oh. Well, before I go over there, this is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You sh weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Well, that guy sounds like a real notebook. Oh, I don't really need to. It's fine. Um, what's over here? God damn it, Blevins. <laughs> Ooh. The door again, I'm assuming from Blevins. I'm assuming this is just a, yeah, okay. <coughs> I don't know what these are. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Oh, there's a door? That's, okay, there's a door. Back to some set. Welcome back. Uh, what, what snacks did you get? Um, I think we're having to unlock a door at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> and it sounds like the guy who who was in charge of this place was called Blevins. And uh, he sounds like a real nitpicky butthole. You know, thinks he's smarter than everyone else kind of thing. Like the door's wired. Something over here. Okay. What am I supposed to do with these things? Uh -huh. Puzzle. Reroute the data flow. So where does the data... Okay, so it doesn't... Can't go that way. So... Turn that... These things turn. Changing the flow of light. Okay. Uh, that way? That way connects there. And then this way? Alright. Let's see if the door's open. Okay. <coughs> uh, I got some strawberry and banana yogurt and ooh, and pretzels. <laughs> nope, <laughs> I really enjoy streaming, but I'm getting real hungry. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, just looking at my times. Okay. Um. Yeah, Blevins is apparently, um, ooh, cool floor. Yeah, it's like a little puzzle. Uh, Blevins is a, is a, is a, is a, is a bastard, basically. 
<laughs> he's just... Um, what's the word? Uh, did I come from this way? Is this new? Did I come this way? I don't remember this way. I don't remember this way at all. Is there anything in here? Aha! Uh -huh. <coughs> Another email from my sister. I haven't got time to think, let alone reply. Oh, that photo of the girl she sent didn't do much for my conscience. Jenny looks pretty proud of her pilgrim costume. Crap. I've never missed Thanksgiving before. And chances for Christmas? Near zero. I can't even tell them that all the work I'm doing is to keep them safe. Oh. Keep them safe. Blevin sounds like a butt head sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's he's condescending. That's the word I was looking for. Very um, patronizing. Makes people feel... Likes to make people feel dumb whilst he feels very smart kind of thing. Uh, 0.6, voice recording with text. How am I going to explain to Kenny that Firebreak is doomed... Without a guiding intelligence advanced enough not only to think, but to feel. Oh, point six. Is that another one? Data corruption minimal. Voice recording with. Okay, it's just. It's a voice recording. Okay. I wonder what firebreak is, because I do not remember. Is he the hair smeller? Blevins isn't, no. Kenny, I think, was. Um, Blevins is actually a different guy. Uh, I can quickly show you. Uh, data points. Da -da -da -da, frozen wilds. Blevins, where is it? D is it supply? I think it's supply. Uh, this is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. <laughs> and then it's just like a load of stuff down here as well that I didn't actually look at. 3,000 MREs, no lasagna. Poor lady is stuck with some weirdos, I guess so, yeah. Although she seems to like Kenny, but not Blevins. Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. God help me and Kenny if he ever finds out about us. Oh. Oh. Maybe they are a thing. At the bottom it says if he ever, if he ever finds out about us. Oh, dude, calm your face. Yeah, there's, um, yeah. So maybe her and Kenny are already like a thing. Uh, I guess I just go up this side then. And we go up here? Yeah? <coughs> God, Aloy's hands must be freezing. I don't know how she can do all this climbing. And then over here? Yeah. Fresh air ahead. Um anything over here? Nope. Okay. Uh oh, so it was consensual hair smelling? I yeah, I think it was, yeah, knowing that. Yeah, yeah, it was um wasn't just like I'm gonna sniff this person's hair. I, at least I think. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Ooh. That looks like a maybe like a helipad or something. It's kind of, kind of large and round. A place for landing some sort of vehicle of the air type. Definitely looks like it. Looks like I need to get to those stairs.
Ooh. Okay. Yeah, like a place to drop off like cargo and stuff. <coughs> Dance, there was like a whole facility built into the mountain here. Then they lift cargo up the stairs with this elevator thing. Seeing how the game devs imagined our world in ruins. So, yeah, that's why I really like it because it's just a very. It's just a very interesting near future post apocalypse kind of thing. Because I say near future because they built all this stuff in what, like 2050 or something like that around that time. But then all this time has passed now. And it, now all the future stuff that would be future for us is now in ruins. It's a really interesting, like, both of the extremes kind of thing. <coughs> to see the stuff that we would call futuristic, but in complete ruins to these people. She has to be in here somewhere. Uh, stage two complete. <coughs> Attention all staff. It's with, pride, it's with pride that I announced the completion of the first level uh, of infrastructure on our primary facility. Um, this compound will be the nerve centre for our project and will require the team's continued best efforts to realise by, uh, realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a detailed plan for mustering out, uh, mustering out of the auxiliary space, which will serve as a contingency site as we uh, as we proceed with the main facility 90 percent of our personal uh, personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m wednesday if your name does not appear on the assignment list please email marissa uh with me in cc your dedication talent intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration dr jenny chow uh t t did i say Chenny? dr kenny chow <laughs> project director okay okay so this is the nerve center the the brain of it, you could say. Uh, looks like uh, lockers and stuff. Or maybe just storage for bedding or something. Can I go in there? I think I probably can, right? Oh, there's a door, yeah. I, I can. <laughs> yeah, so they had to like design all these futuristic rooms. Like, futuristic-looking rooms, anyway. Um... And storage and computers and all sorts of things. And then they, then they had to like completely tear it down and imagine, okay, so what happens like a hundred thousand years or one thousand no, a thousand years. I think it's a thousand years. One thousand years after, you know, this has gone to to shit kind of thing. Menu prank. Someone <laughs> had the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. <laughs> Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> totally. Can we see what they were? Uh, hacking of menu board. Can we see what they were? Does it say anywhere? Um, come on, people. 2046. Hacking menu board. Um, yes, saying canteen. Do you respect? Do, 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 do. <coughs> Kenny to Anita. <laughs> Anita, was it you? <laughs> I think he sent that afterwards. It seems like he sent that afterwards. Like, he's acting sort of all like, um, you know, the project leader and stuff. And then at the end, he's like, <laughs> Anita, was it you? <laughs> he's totally on board with it. But has to, you know, act, play the part kind of thing. <clears throat> so is this all supposed to be happening at the same time as Zero Dawn? Like with uh, Elizabeth working on... I think it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is all happening. I think this is just like... So, so Zero Dawn was being... Was happening. Uh, doing its thing. I think this was just another section of Zero Dawn. Uh, another pu piece to the puzzle kind of thing. Could use some resources if you ask me. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to know what they changed it to. Uh, I, I definitely wanted to, to, to know. God, can you imagine if like the menu board was still like up and running and it still said the names? That would be great. That'd be a nice little detail. <coughs> uh, 
Oh. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak! A whisper is all I ask. <coughs> to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Hmm. Okay, can I, can I explore first, Aurea? Uh, g g give me a second, I saw some stuff over here. <laughs> I could show you, but first. <laughs> animal figurine. This animal figurine. The shape looks familiar. Can I... It's a looming, impressive animal. The shape looks familiar, because it's a bear. Trade at Hollow Hall for valuable rewards, okay. to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Oh, is there like more to that? Is there any... Gotcha, there's... There's like more text to it. I don't think I want to read through all that every single time, but... <clears throat> um, security messages... Oh, measures, sorry. Not messages. Measures. Uh, anything else? Oh my goodness, she doesn't know what a bear is? Are there natural animals in this world yet? Or did Guy uh, never get to it? I guess bears aren't a thing. Um, in her world. I guess it looks familiar because... Well, she said it looks familiar though. So maybe she just doesn't call it a bear. Maybe she doesn't know it as a bear kind of thing. Um, or maybe she's just referring to the frost claw machine. Because there are things like boars... And foxes and stuff, and um, there's there's goose. Maybe only the smaller animals, actually. Maybe the larger animals, like wolves and stuff like that, never actually were actually brought back into the world yet. But I'll bet the goal is the same: get the light back to the source. All right, get the light back to the source. Puzzle time. All right, so uh, turn clockwise. Bring that over there. Let's just see what we can do. That goes over there. That goes up up there. Oh, this actually won't work. That will end up going that way. Okay, because that ends up going back down there. All right. Well, that way doesn't work. <coughs> So instead, well, unless I actually know, no, no. All right, this game is just too cool. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it as much as you are. Uh, and then that goes up there, and then oh, interesting. That can't go there. Hmm. Okay. What if I bring that back that way? And then bring that there. This isn't going to work, is it? Because, oh. Ah, and then if I bring this one down here. Oh, wrong way. Bring that one down there. And then I turn it that way. Yes, okay. And then bring that up there. Bring this one this way. And ooh, turn this all the way around. 
and then turn this way. Ooh, that one, that way. Oh crap! That's what I want to do. Turn that one up there, uh, and then probably turn this one all the way around this way, and then we turn this one this way. That should do it, right? Yes. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Oh god. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ikorea. Orea, I need you. You brought the spirit's voice back. No. Oh. Um. Oh. You heard it. <coughs> the voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. I... Um, straight into silence. Fuck everything else. <laughs> let's do the spirit. Let's do de uh, let's do the daemon, and then let's do silence. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life here years ago during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured. So I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. Okay. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. <coughs> That's not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. And we kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand, but I want to. That's all I need. Sounds like Silence and Hades. I think a similar relationship, except with Silence and Hades, Silence was purely after the knowledge. 
um, and was willing to do what it, whatever it takes just to get the knowledge. Whereas this sounds more like um, like she worships it, like a like a deity. So she's willing to to help it in whatever way possible, rather than trying to get knowledge out of it. If that makes sense, that's how it sounds. That's how it seems. The daemon. <coughs> what do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. <laughs> yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Interesting. Yeah, this sounds a bit less malicious. Yeah, it's, yeah. Less malicious, I, yeah, I agree. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow, or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Oh? About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Well, okay. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit. Captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. 
And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Okay. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Um, her solution is mutiny? That seems a bit drastic. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite mutiny. I think it's more like a... a you know, I challenge you to a duel kind of thing. Do you accept kind of thing rather than um, rather than just let's just stab him in the back kind of thing. <laughs> uh, does she have any more information? Eli, I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. Oh, what did I, I do? got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. Oh. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Warwick will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. To polite mutiny. Yeah, polite mutiny. But like, um, mutiny, not mutiny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of unity with an M on the, <laughs> on the, on the front. Mutiny. <laughs> immunity. It's like immunity. Uh, stupid. Um. How's Arata going to react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. <coughs> you mentioned your friend, Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. Okay. Um, the rest are pretty obvious. I need to get going. There is much to be done. Okay. Um, so, what do we have to do? Clear out the bandit camp, complete a trial at the hunting grounds, talk to Sakuli. Okay. I also want to go to the lake. That's also something I do want to do. Um, so these are the things I have to go and do now. However, I would like to carry on with this one first. This is the, the musical instrument thing they said about. Uh, is there a quick way out? It looks like it. <coughs> um, the musical instrument thing that that that, that is it. Lol, lol, I can't remember she the name. Almost feels like sunburn. Was speaking about. I um did a tiny bit of investigating, but that's about it. This DLC is much larger than I was. Yeah, the, that's why. That's why it's a, a good DLC. Um, The Witcher Three also had a good DLC like this, where it adds an entirely new section. Uh, to, to explore. It wasn't just like one side mission and that's it. It's like a full on a mini game kind of. A mini, a mini little extra game kind of thing. Um, yeah, so it's it's substantial. Um, these are the kind of deals. This is the kind of DLC I, I definitely like. Um, things that adds. Quick way down. DLC that adds a good amount. Oh my god, I love the Witcher DLC so much. Yeah, so Blood and Wine. It's similar to sort of Blood and Wine. How that adds a whole new section to explore. That adds its own side missions. I wouldn't say it's as big as Blood and Wine. But, um... It's definitely large. That story is so much fun, yeah, with, um... Is it Regis? I think it's Regis. It's been, it's been a couple years since I played it. Uh, I'm currently waiting for the, um... Oh, these trees are bent. Uh, I'm currently waiting for the next gen version of Witcher 3 to come out before I replay it. Um, but yeah, it's similar to that kind of uh, scale. Quite a, quite a large DLC, you could say. Oh, that's... Is that a Thunder Jaw? Uh, where was it? There. That is a Thunder Jaw. Oh, if I could override that. Oh, it's te oh demonic thunder drop. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just, I'm, I'm good. 
Uh, I didn't know there was a next-gen version coming out. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a next-gen version that's coming out as a free update um, to the base game. Um, there's been nothing new about it for a little while. The only thing they've showed or shown, sorry, is a um, how the box art looks different and the box art. Uh, that's about it, basically. <laughs> box art. <laughs> it shows some of the upgrades to like um, Geralt's character model and stuff. Um, and there are some changes, like there are high, high resolution textures and all that kind of thing. All that kind of stuff, but, um... Ooh, there's more stuff here. Okay, uh, so we're going to go down and try and do... Follow the river upstream. Yeah, we're going to try and do this one. The musical instrument. Hi, mountain goat. Um, I could probably... Grab a mount. That would be a lot quicker. Let me save here and then I'll, I'll whistle for a mount. <coughs> okay, whistling in three, two, one. Mm. It's still very loud in my own ears. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's loud for you, but it is for me. <laughs> Alright. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Um, there's another control down. Wait. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Can I? Can I? Can I quickly do this? Can I? I didn't mean to come across this, but sure, I'll do it whilst I'm here. Yes, I can. Oh, there's a second one. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Do it whilst the other ones are stunned, kind of thing. Oops, Eddie. Override unavailable while recharging. Okay. Go. Come on, can I do this? Um. Any more? Is that it? Just the two? Oh, fuck, there's a third one. Alright. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> go, go, go. Eh. We might be okay. We might just do this. We might just about override them. Can I get to that one? Can I get to that one? Can I, 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 can I? Yes, I can. Uh, okay, but I actually need to, um... Oh, fuck me. Alright, alright. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? I can't remember. Uh, tear. Balls. I don't know if I actually need to defeat these now. Ah, balls. Uh, I might be good to just kind of not. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, climb up. Up you get, up you get. Ah, balls. Can I... Uh. Ah! Can I just blow this up? Yes, I can. Maybe do a cheeky runaway? I'm thinking about cheeky runaway, so I can carry on with story. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have to do this or not. Uh, does it say on the map? Doesn't say on the map. Oh, balls. Um, here, I'll do this. I'll, I'll search, take it all. <laughs> search, take it all and run. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's not quite a wasted trip. Uh, but those control towers are overridden. Oh boy, I'm being chased by a large lad. Um, okay, 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 okay. What is that thing? I think it was a snap more. Ah! <laughs> That's not. But um, the other one was a snap more. The the crocodile. Uh, 
the crocodile machine. They, uh, they're a lot quicker than I, I fought four of them earlier. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, they're a lot quicker than they seem. I will just say. They don't like... Ah! They don't like fire. I can confirm. But get away from me. No oh, balls. Uh, also, they can jump. Okay. Okay. Ah! Can I just... Yes, good. 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 Yeah! No! Why did that not blow up? There it is. There it is. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're a lot quicker than I was expecting. When I... Quick. They, they are quick. Uh, where did the... Oh, it's down there. Okay. Boy slid down here. Sure. Um, okay. Let's continue onwards. I really hope I don't have to go back and redo that control tower thing. I hope I, now that I've just, like, um, overridden it. That's it. <laughs> All good. Don't have to do it again. <laughs> Nicely done, thanks. <laughs> uh, I hope I don't have to redo that. <clears throat> um... Okay, so it looks like this is the dam. Do we have to? It said I have to go up the stream. I bet I'm gonna have to come back up this way. Oh, I bet I'm gonna have to. Um, there was something I need to buy from a merchant as well. You can buy maps to find the collectibles, and I think there's an interesting. That must be where the water's coming from. I told you I have to go back up. <laughs> told you. Um, there's a merchant just down here. Let me... Oh, sorry. Let me ride to the merchant and grab the, these maps quickly. Because um, I think I remember an interesting one to do with the animals, uh, figurines you can you can buy. And she, like, discovers animals. Like, from our time. Um, and I want to... I want to do that part again. Uh, I won't explain how, like, she, she discovers them. But you'll see. You'll see. Uh, trade with the merchant. Uh, is it... Where was it? Ammo... Oh, God, where was it? Special items. Map, animal figurines. What do I need? Badger bone. Balls. Okay. Goat bone. I can get pigments. All right. And I can do... Okay, I need goat skin. And I need two badger bones. Okay. There was a goat up here, right? <laughs> uh, squirrel. Oops. I think I crushed a squirrel. Um, it's a fox. Badger? Badger. Oops, is it, can, can I please... Oh, balls. Sorry, friend. Fatty meat balls. Alright, well, maybe I'll do this offline to try and get them. Uh, I, I, nah, it's fine. I can do it on the stream. Uh, tag. Bony meat. How do I get specifically badger bone? Uh, uh, not in a. Oh damn! There's lots of badgers here. Okay. Maybe I have to smack them. Ah, they do be running. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I gotta smack them. Ah, there we go. Maybe that did it. Badger bone. There we go. I think I just got to smack him. <laughs> just, oh, a goat. I need the goat as well. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Looks good. Oh, that didn't give me anything. Uh, of goat related. This one? Nope. Nope. Yep. <laughs> okay. Got my badger bones. Well, that was rude. Poor little badger doing his best and you shoot him. Ah, it was, it was necessary. It's for the greater good, I swear. Huh? <laughs> is that another goat? It's another goat. What did I need again? God, I can't remember. Uh, I needed goat. Was it goat bone? Goat meat? Something? 
goat related. All right, come here, goat. I'm doing this. Okay, that might be good. Goat bone, there we go. Okay, now I can get those maps. Uh, I am going to whistle in three, two, one. Oh. Um, when I first played this game, there was like a lot of hunting of animals and stuff. Um, so I think on the map, there are, at least not on this map, but on the main map, I think there are like places, yeah. Oh, there were, there should be. You can buy a map, it shows you where wildlife is basically. And you go and you go and hunt the wildlife to get specific wildlife parts so that you, then you can buy other stuff. Um, which I actually really enjoyed, but as like, as like a, oh, you can, you can, you can just buy everything. No, I actually liked you had to go and get specific bits to trade with merchants. There we go. Badger bone. And badger bone. Oh, I already had the goat. No, I didn't. There we go. Oh, goat skin. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I needed goat bone. It's only for blue gleam, actually. That's not important. We've done the... We've got the animal things now. Um, so if I look on the map now, we should be able to find... There we go. There's an animal figurine here. There's one over here. Um, there's one. Is there one up there? Or is that just... That? Oh, no, we got that one. Okay. Do we? It says it's not great. It's grayed out. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so now we know where to where to go for them, which is quite handy. Well, at least the rough area. Let's go. Is that the bear we got? I, I thought, well, I thought it was, but we ended up we we came this way, and then we went through a cave system, and then we ended up coming here. So I think the bear was over this way, which is why I'm confused why this is not making a mark because we haven't actually been over here yet confusing hey can i do i get will i get goat goat skin animal nope okay uh okay no 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 goat skin yet okay let's keep going um and it's over this way okay now, this is the reason why that musical instrument part is flooded, apparently. Ah! Oh, I could have gone through there? Oh, it's fine. I'll just walk. <coughs> and, like, these ruins and stuff in, um, you know, covered in, in snow and ice and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, I like these areas. I really like these areas, too. So we have to go over here. Okay. Oops, it didn't. There we go. Well, somebody wanted in. Oh. He really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Oh, enter Grey Catch. Okie dokie. Flooding uh. detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dim? Oh, did the dam break and flood? It seems like it, yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. <clears throat> and the part that the, the overflow basin was what they used as this as this drum kind of thing. I like how no snow has gotten in here. No snow? No snow. That, that sounded wrong, but there's a big gap there. Why is there no snow? <laughs> Why is it like summery in here? It looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Maybe it just looks warmer than it is. Okay. Can I scan that? Not through the window? Okay. Hard to see anything. Um, this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something. Another holographic interface. There must be something. Uh, we gotta Maybe find. I try scanning objects in this area. The lock positions. Helpful. Ecolog ecologically speaking, dams are horrible. I say we break. Oh, really? I didn't know. I did not know. Um. Well, clearly, <laughs> I think they're still using dams in 2050, apparently. Oh, there's a person.
That was weird. Maybe my focus will see something. Oh, maybe. Well, I know we can see people. Valve. Okay, 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 okay. We're, we're, let's go see the person. Someone's been through here. Not that long ago. <coughs> Is he in here? Yes. They completely mess up eco ecosystems and have long-term impacts that I really don't think are just... I was unaware. I have opinions. You're uh, entirely entitled to your opinions. I would probably agree with you because I don't know what I'm talking about. So I trust your, I trust your opinion on these things. <laughs> You don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope. Nope. <coughs> Not old Gildan. Is that? You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Uh... Ow! My apologies. <laughs> When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Flood. So I push the button again, perhaps uh, a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. <laughs> I quite like him, actually. <laughs> what a character. Yeah, I quite, <laughs> I quite like him. There's something about him. <laughs> you said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mum brought one back for me from... Wherever she'd gone to that time, I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses, it's in the storage room. Oh, yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Okay. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. <laughs> so you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. <laughs> the panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we going to get that ring? 
two sets of hands, girl. Two sets of hands. Behind us <laughs> lie a pair of enormous <laughs> gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. It's like a walking contract of fine print. Yeah, it is a little bit. Well, here on two after, and then I suppose perhaps we might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I quite like him. Um, so we're going this way? Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Oh, so not this way? <coughs> oh, maybe it is up. Uh, find a path. Um, okay. Oh, maybe it is up. Maybe it is. is it up? I'm not entirely sure. Um, the other valve is just across the edge. Raging floodwaters. Over there. Yep, got it. Okay. Now, how do I get over there? Is it to do with this thing here? How do you find a way to the other valve somewhere up above? Okay, up above. Oh, I see. It'll be probably through there, maybe. Maybe. Or I climb something. There we go. You know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the claim. Stone ruin, wild cold, and great fire. It's been 13 levels. <laughs> that whole story I just <laughs> just didn't listen to went all the way around <laughs> and he's like oh there you are anyway <laughs> this guy's too funny yeah. old world cars with four wheels a little more now and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving <laughs> there you should be able to lower the gate right you are now when I get this gate down you'll need to turn the valve again oh but, uh, Yeah, there's just something amusing about him. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! What do you think of Kirby Carl? Kirby? Oh god. Oh god. His reaction, I'm, I'm assuming he'll be horrified. <laughs> special thing, girl. Oh, love, oh he'd be delighted. Exactly where you need to go and no further. Nope, oh, sorry, landed on your head. Apologies. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gator somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me looks like I could jump across on that rickety resting platform. Let me find a way up. Now where? Um ah! Down there? Surely not, that looks too far. Right? Is that too far? I mean, there's only one way to find out, I guess, but... No, it looks too far, surely, because there's a bit you climb across over there, right? I mean... Nothing else I can... Shoot? Hmm. Alright, well... <clears throat> this feels wrong. Hey! Such absolute disregard for personal safety. <laughs> Thanks. I think. <laughs> absolute disregard for personal safety. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this guy, man. Gildan, his name is. Uh. Oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Ah, my TV's starting to turn itself off. 
Just as I jump. Oh god, no, it's fine. Just as I jumped. There we go. He should narrate the whole game. Ah, you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out uh, he's, he's definitely a character. Um, now we've done this okay. once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If yeah, you right. take the valve on the other side, if it's set up the same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. All right, all right, all right. This, this is my sort of delve. Thousand little problems to solve. A million minute and simple facts. My father. Anything here? Uh-huh, Gildan. <laughs> uh-huh, Gildan. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about the right, about right. Oh, could I have just jumped down here? Oh, balls, I probably could have just jumped. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working! <laughs> Damn thing's too heavy. <laughs> Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken? Big and broken. Look Looks for a like counterweight. Counterweight broke off. This. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do. Now. Aloy, like, mm hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Sounds about right. <sighs> Over here? Can I climb up now? Nope. Just gotta shimmy my way around. No okie dokie. I can't jump straight to the cannery from here. But I could climb higher. Get above it. Up we go. Okay, yeah, and then rappel down. Sure. This area is quite pretty, though. <laughs> this guy's just amazed at everything. And then I have to do the other one. How far do I go? You can make it. Let's oh. see Balls. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, that worked. <laughs> Not intentional, but it worked. <laughs> Got it. We're good to go. <laughs> the arm strength, I know, right? <laughs> Oh. Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw. It's a snap maw. Very, very big snap maw. <laughs> I see it, Gildan. Very big, very, very big. Just stay out of the way. Gildan, please, please, out of the way. Which way are we going? This way? Oh, are you going back up? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going with you then. I need to find a way down. How do I find a way down? Do I have to follow him? Maybe I have to follow him. Um, maybe this way we'll find a way down. Oh no, probably the other way. Let's face it. Can I not climb up? I can't climb up. Okay. Down we go. <coughs> oh, oh. Um. Oh, over there. Over there. Over there. That 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 led to a way down, didn't it? We'll find out after I've killed it. Can I not climb down over here? 
Whoa. Yeah, like the ladder here. Wait, should I just attack it from up here? What are you doing, Matt? You don't need to go down there to attack it. Uh, oh, it doesn't like fire still. Okay, that works for me. Oh, let's um, use the weapon I wanted to use. I have a weapon in here that's perfect for fire. There we go. Uh, sure, let's go down. Let's let's, let's not actually. Let's <laughs> let's um, make some of this. Make some of this. There we go. And use. Whoops, Lizzie. Use this. Is it trying to hide like a bitch? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> On second thought, that's a no. Yeah, yeah. It's trying to hide. I can still get you. See? You got nowhere to hide, buddy old pal. Okay. Says you're hiding on platforms. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> you were right. This thing did swallow the ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old guild in intuition and action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils! Uh, I would say touche Ooh, to that. What's in oh. Here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Okay, shells. Shall we have a look? Right now. Recording, okay? We're not even in the band meeting. Sort of counts as practice, right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers! You're not a real band until someone vandalizes government property with your sticker. Colleagues, I have been asked to remind you that conversation is determined to be irrelevant to servitude. Okay, Shells. Shells, we're not focusing on that right now. Record it, okay? We're not even in the band meeting. Sort of count practice, right? Oh, is it replaying it again? Merch. Why is it replaying it? Merch. Stickers! You're not a real band no, dude. Jesus Christ. That was long. Don't know why it replayed. There's another one there. Oh, sweet. Got it. Ready? One, two, three, four. Caught sellouts and runaway cows. Oh, no. We see. Cut it. Cut it. I forgot the words. Yeah. Shells, we started off so strong and they're all just in focus. Well, that's sort of my MO. No. No. No heavy stuff. Switching gears. Band name. We need one. Okay, so basically, that was that was a rock band here. Um, it's chosen roots. Roots can be circuits. Oh, yeah. There was like a rock band here. Oh, do I have to go all the way down there? Oh, so I've really come the wrong way. Whoops, Daisy. I've really come the wrong way, haven't I? Uh, well, exploring. That's my excuse. Um, I think I need to go down there. So, oh, wait. Could I have just jumped here the whole time? Yes, I could have. Uh, yeah. What a dumb dumb. What a dumb dumb. Can I go here? We drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. I wonder. The machines here? Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. All right. Time to get the flow going to the right place. Uh, okay, another puzzle. Valves 101. Exactly what I need. Valves for dummies. Um, I don't think I want to read all this. 
I'll read it if I have to, but I'll try without. Okay, so this damage flow pipe, good to know. Um, assuming it needs to get to the middle up there. What's that? Supply crate? Uh, sure, I'll take it. If I get stuck with a the puzzle, then um, I will ask for assistance. Or I will read the thing. <laughs> uh, so turn clockwise. Oh, I'm following. Following. It's just like the other puzzle. All good. That way go there, that way goes there, that way's broken. Um, That's not quite right. Oh. Okay, can turn it. Oops, Daisy, go that way. That way goes that way, that way goes up there. That way leaks there. Nope, don't want that. Um, probably up there. And then... Nope, not back on itself. There? That was broken. Something's not right. Move that way there, and then we put that up here. Nope, don't want that. And then up here. Yeah, that should do it. I should head back. See if that's okay for us. But there's a door here. How does one get through the door? Oh, just by pressing the button. This must go down to the lower level. Oh, that's just water? Yeah, that's just that's just water. Uh, oh, okay. Ugh, it stinks down here. You smell that? Smells like a four side morning in the claim. Drummer's weapon coil. Oh, I want that. Uh, well, I want that. I, 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 I want that one. <laughs> uh, freeze. <coughs> Maybe I get rid of the 44 because it does nothing else. Oh, wait, was it a protection or was it a... I'm not entirely sure. I think... No, I don't think it is. I think it's an attack one. Which means I think it's... Yeah, so maybe I'll get rid of the 44 because it does nothing else. And then... What did I get? Whoa. Quite a bit. Quite a, a bit indeed. Um... <coughs> Do I want to <clears throat> swap that out for... Maybe put it on this one? Maybe I could put it on this one. Wait, do I have a better one? I do have this one. Oh, I have the other drummer's coil on this one. <laughs> Can I swap this out and put... That removes... That puts freeze and that up. But shock goes down a little bit. Uh... That one looks... Yep, that's better. Uh, swap. There we go. Cool. Like that's everything. I should head back up with Gildan. What's this one? See? Check this out. We could just bang on this pipe, you know? It... Could we sample that or? Well, totally. Like, what about after the... Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Laura? I am. Oh. Oh, this is the body. Okay, of the snap wall. Those drainage pipes lead into another room. I wonder what's in there. So something was up with one of the uh, the bandmates, it seems. Uh, another room. So this way. Is it this way? I'm very confused with this band story. I think it's just backstory. Nothing, um... Nothing down there. There was... How do I get down there? Oh, I know, I know how I get down there, but there was nothing down there. I think it's just backstory for the, um... Were they just hanging down there? It said damn personnel. So I think they were just, 
Uh, people who worked at the dam who were just a band, basically. And they worked on stuff whilst they were working, I guess. They worked on their band, their music. There's this pipe here. I'm not sure where I'm, what I'm supposed to do with it. It says it leads to somewhere else. Maybe that was because... I think I'm being dumb, actually. I think that's because I used that to... to yeah, okay, 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 okay. Never mind, never mind. I think I'm okay. Oops, Daisy. Um, so yeah, I think uh, the band stuff is just... Um, just the people who worked it, just as like a bit of background. Can I not climb up? Aloy, what are you doing? Climb! We've climbed up many ladders before. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. There we go. That was a bit weird. And up here. <coughs> were they just hanging? Uh, hanging out? Yeah, no, I think uh, I think I just read that, didn't I? Um, yeah, no, I think um, yeah, they were just um, people who worked here who who were. Uh, at least I'm assuming that, because it does say damn personnel. And I think I've probably missed a few voice notes somewhere, maybe. Probably. Most likely. Oh, is that Gildan? Why is he all the way over there? Alright, whatever. Um, maybe I'll find more voice notes for the band, band members. Replace the emitter. Will do, old buddy, old pal. Ah, maybe that's to do with the band members, that one there. I can't wait, I can't wait! Okay, so... Uh, counter? Yep. And then... Uh, up, what? down. Um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? <laughs> he doesn't understand anything. <laughs> that done? Yep. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. <laughs> tickling the empty air. <laughs> Farewell, Tor. Where is it? Where did it go? I mean, this is it. We get to play together, what, maybe two more times? Ah, shit. Farewell, Tor. Reunion tour in like six months. Dance to it all the time. <laughs> For our adoring fans. It's not that hard. I saw one. I saw one in here. Gildan, please. Is there anything more to do with the band? I'm sure there is, but I'd have to search for it. Oh, can I not carry anymore? Oh, that's fine. Just health. One doesn't imagine such things. Not two delves in a row. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Okay, let's... Oops, it is he. Can I just... Go over? Yep, take some of that. The feature equivalent of Zoom and FaceTime. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. There in the window. Huh. Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a delve it was! Ugh! By the great blazing forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Oh, well, he took it like a champ, at least. <coughs> oh, buddy, yeah, he took it like a. He took it like a champ. He was pretty upbeat about it, even though he didn't get what he wanted from it. 
<clears throat> Replace battle cells, sure. <laughs> oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> Can he see that? I what thought that was mean? just my focus. It means it worked. By the forge. <laughs> you are a wonder. <laughs> do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Oh. Maybe I'll take a look. Can I go back down? Another adventure so soon? Woo! You're braver than me. But there was no question of that. <laughs> He was so happy to press the button, he was. Is there any more information? No, that's it. You go on ahead. I'm gonna stand right here and bask in our victory for a while. <laughs> Just stand and bask in the victory. Oh, wait. Wait, it said the basin. So, uh, that's the other one. So it's not back here. There's nothing else new here, actually. The basin is the overflow basin. So, I think down there is all... I must have missed some stuff with the band. Um... I must have, because we haven't got the full picture and, like, what was up with Laura. I'm not sure if... Must have missed some stuff. It's fine. That's not the main story, anyway. But we should go back and look at the basin. Uh, do I have to climb down? I do. Uh, and then once I finish this side mission, I'll probably have to round things off. Probably, because I do need some dinner. Um, and it is... Oops, it is. It's currently 9 o'clock. Uh, exit the grey hat. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Nah, and he was great. Eh, they're probably there. fine. <laughs> and going by that sound, I think Laulai's already at the din. Oh, you can hear it. Uh, wasn't there an, an animal thing? There was an animal thing. Animal figurine. Where's this animal figurine? Uh, I'll go down there in a second. Let me find this animal thing first. Animal figurine? Where art thou? Meant to be around here, right? Yeah, okay. I, I thought it might be over here, but maybe it's over here. Maybe not. Oh, balls. Animal figurine. I thought it might show up on... It does usually show up on here, doesn't it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> what is it? Is it uh? I think it's like a... Is it a lion or is it like a panther? It's a figure of... Must have been an ancient animal. Uh, lion, or is it like um, or is it like a, a a mountain lion, or is it like um, a cougar, or it's a big cat? <laughs> Looks like a panther. Yeah, it could be a panther. I think we do eventually find out, uh, or we can find out. <laughs> oh, it's just around the corner. <laughs> um, there's a place we can take these animal figurines and um. Find out more, basically. Uh, Alright, let's go have a look. Okay. Uh, that's fine. There we go. 
Um, do I want to call my mount? Yes. Yes, I do. Come, boy. <laughs> Anytime now. That's it. There we go. Yeah, the gameplay of this definitely reminds me of a bit like a... A bit like The Witcher. Um, like hunting machines instead of monsters, and exploring this world and taking on side missions. She wasn't kidding about the sound. Yeah, so this is what it looks like without the water. Uh, can I drop down here? Oh, not ah! Oh, I can, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> Aloy's just very clumsy when people aren't around. <laughs> Do 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 do. Ba ba da ba 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 da bo. Oops, Daisy. Hey. It's a Daisy. Ah. Final performance. Do I have to listen to the whole thing? Come on, Matt, you don't love this jam. I mean, if you're into this, then sure. I'm not so I don't sit here and hate it. But it's it's punk. I think maybe the audio quality doesn't help. <laughs> we just okay that was it yeah we just got to listen to their song <laughs> basically <laughs> well then well then indeed that's a good way to put it well then anyway <laughs> there yeah, you bang your drums damn living their best life over there just going to town. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. <laughs> That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. What did I get? Oh, just blue gleam. Okay, okay, okay. Well, hey, there's something else there. Last Girls on Earth. Is that lyrics or... Uh, this is <clears throat> dear nobody the author cars are on their way mine will take me to my apartment in Cody 
Uh, hers will take her uh, to the view uh, to the vet 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 report, whatever that is. Um, she brought her luggage with her to work today. Everything she owns packed into two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen. Uh, I've ever seen her in. It's for Mum, she said. She bought me this outfit, if you can believe it. Normally, like, who cares? But I don't know. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today. Listened to all these. Uh, listened to all these tapes. Read all, the, read all these messages. Maybe this is one of those sign my yearbook will never lose touch things. But I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We family. We, uh, okay, I get it. So it's just like them saying goodbye. Okay, 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 okay. What a use of some old pipes. That's that's one way to put it. <laughs> I think it, it, the pipes sound better from far, from further away. <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten about this and I was expecting some like war drums or something and that was going to be like I don't know maybe they were bang on the edges or something here and this would be there would be like a um a show or something um okay uh so where do I take these animal things I take them somewhere but I can't remember where Maybe it's uh, that's bandit camp. Maybe it's somewhere over there. Maybe it's somewhere up there. Or maybe it's. I'll find out for an extreme. Oh, I need to save it. Um, I can save up there. Uh, up which way? That way. That that way. Up that way. This way. <laughs> <coughs> So yeah, there's a lot to this DLC. There's, it's got its own side missions, it's got its own whole new area to explore. There's new weapons, there's new enemies. There's a whole new main story, obviously. Um, and at the moment, it's the, it's the daemon and the spirit, whatever they are. We suspect some, some offshoot of Gaia, obviously. But uh, we'll have to see. Um, manual save. How many hours did that say? Just over a hundred hours now. Um, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today, though. We ended with some, with some banging drums. <laughs> um, so I will just pause that. Um, play this. Oh, that was louder than I, than I was expecting. Ooh, and go back to this. I'm kind of tempted to bring. No, it's okay. I won't. It's okay. I won't. I was gonna say I can kind of kind of tempted to, kind of tempted to bring up the bring up Photoshop quickly um, for the foresty scene, but it's okay. I need some dinner. Uh, I'll get around to it and show when it's done. Um. Well, I hope you're uh, enjoying the DLC. Um, I had forgotten a lot of this, so it's good to, to, to get back to it and remind myself of it, uh, of it all. <clears throat> Thanks for sharing stream. Always happy to catch you. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, I should be back tomorrow. Um, and I'll probably... Aim for tomorrow is probably to focus more on like main sort uh, the, the, the sort of main objectives, but I also want to do those animal figurines. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what I get up to. Uh, but for now, uh, I am going to head off and have some dinner. Um, thanks for joining for the past ooh, couple hours. This area has lots to explore. Yeah, it's a good it's a good chunk. It's a good chunk of area. Um, yeah, it's a good size. Uh, I, I know we've been in like snowy areas before, but this area is entirely snowy with like heavy snow. And the new machines I also like. The wolfy one and the and the bear one, I can't remember the names. Frost, Claw and Scorcher. I think that's about right. <clears throat> um Alright. I'll uh catch you tomorrow. I'll keep you updated on um on Discord when I'm going live. Or yeah when I'm on next. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon slash evening, I imagine. Or 
not one of those. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Thanks for joining. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.